Hello everyone and welcome to the Iron Warrior Cosplay Q&A with me, Iron Warrior Cosplay, where we aren't live until we're live! Hello everyone, how are you all doing in chat? Everyone is here. My guest tonight is the wonderful Bermuda Rhombus. Amy, how are you? And the kitty! Haku, the little kitty! Everyone's the everyone. Everyone, spam cat in chat. Get it out. Get it out of your system. Get cat out of your system. I absolutely love it. Look at it. It's so cute. That's he is ha a cutie. Haku. How old is Haku? Haku. Um, he is. He's nearly two. It's his birthday at the end of May. Oh, that's so cute. By the way, your links are being put up in the chat as we speak. Hey. By our wonderful moderator, Ranger of Creed Cosplay. Thank you so much, Harry. You absolute legend. <laughs> We've got cat emotes in the chat. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes. Uh, Kato Sitarius. I like that. It's Kato Sitarius. That's really, really awesome. Or oh, actually, I say I say Bermuda Rhombus. I say uh, Amy. Should I actually call you uh, Goza the Gozerian or <laughs> Goza the Destructor, Volga Sildroha, or should I call you Goza the Traveler? You can call me whatever you want. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> call me whatever you want. Da call me Bubbles, darling. Everybody does. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, there was no. a point actually when my nickname was Bubbles. So. Oh yeah, because of the costume. Is it? By no, I, no, <laughs> completely unrelated to costumes. Um, oh, my, my first ever job was a balloon decorator. Um, so okay. I do like balloons for weddings and stuff like that. And uh, it was my mum's company, and it was called Mr. Bubbles. So we all got called Bubbles. Mr. Bubbles. Yeah, she's she's retired from it. It's been a good few years since she's been doing it, since oh, it's been but like finished. Still though, that's so cool. I love that. So yeah, I'm pretty good at doing balloon displays, and uh, the only thing I can make with modelling balloons, and I, this, I swear this is not a joke. I can make Snake. you a hat with a dick on it. You can make a hat with a dick on it. Yes, that's the only thing I can make with modeling I think, balloons. I think I speak for everyone in chat right now when I'm asking you, is, do you have any balloons with you? <laughs> no, because this is the funniest bit of the story. I'm allergic to latex, so I can't touch them anymore. <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay, all right. Fair, so, there we fair. go. I will have to... I don't know, can you buy non-latex balloons? Uh, you, you can, but they're not modelling balloons. It's oh, okay, okay, it's okay, like okay, the, enough, You know, like the foil enough. ones. I'm liking your mug. We Actually, do you know, we haven't had a Hail Hydrate yet, actually. Let me <laughs> crack in open a cold one with the boys. <laughs> you boy. <laughs> you can't do it's that. It's a bank holiday make. weekend. It's just a hat. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. Is that, a, is that a Finding Nemo mug? Like the mine, mine, mine? That is such a cool it is. mug. Oh, there you go. Got... Shrivel. Shrivel has redeemed Hail Hydrate. <laughs> you can't see it. I got this from Disneyland in Tokyo. In Tokyo, oh, that's so cool. Yes. Oh my god. Uh, Why, I, ooh, I saw yes. it in the shop. Picked Actually, it up. That's something I need to do. I have some little. I have some stuff I need to talk to you about chat as well. Do you mind? Is it okay, okay if I just? I've got some stuff. I just want to say um, thank you so much. By the way, to everyone who has filled out the form, uh, the um, the sort of uh, questionnaire, if you will, like a survey uh, on my Discord. If you haven't, uh, jump over to my Discord. Um, Ranger of Creek, if you could uh, exclamation mark Discord for me, uh, pop up the Discord link. And if you guys haven't already joined my Discord, um, underneath new joins there'll be a faction selector. Look at the list. Just tell me what uh, like uh, Warhammer faction you would like to be. And then there is a section called Questionnaire. If you guys go to that questionnaire, there will be a Google Docs link, and it's basically for cosplayers. Um, we need as much information as possible in terms of like, you know, what tools do you have? How do you rate yourself as a cosplayer in terms of like your build quality? What kind of foam do you use? What kind of tools do you have? All that kind of stuff. Um, once we have all this information, uh, I'll be shutting down the questionnaire. Uh, we'll take all the information that we've gathered from all over the world. Literally, we've had cosplayers from all over the world uh, fill out the form already. Uh, quite a few of you, actually. Um, casual props to myself have been like quite blown away by the answers. There's, been fa there's fantastic answers that we've had. Um, if you guys do fill out that form, that would be fantastic. We can get the, the, the what we're calling the uh, the casual warrior cosplay challenge. We'll get that started, and when that's started, there will be prizes. There will be uh, there will be like a form going out for you guys to actually sign up on. There'll be free patterns made by the wonderful casual props himself. There's going to be a bunch of stuff. So if you haven't already join the Discord, the questionnaire will be there. Uh, that would be absolutely awesome. Um, also, 
uh, I have a bit of a really, really cool announcement. Um, the I'm Warrior Cosplay Q&A streams, like we're doing today with the lovely Bermuda Rumbers, um, we, are, um, we are ending in May uh, for Season 3. Not ending completely, don't panic. Uh, season 3 finishes in May. I believe if I'm right, it's May 6th, I think. Um, I will have to check the date stuff. But we are finishing in May. But I want to test out a new stream, uh, set, uh, like new stream season, if you will. I would love to do it in seasons. Um, a new stream that I want to want to test soon. That's going to be starting on April the eighth, and also it'll be on April the twenty second as well. And <laughs> it's uh, it's it's got some special guests and everything. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. And it is called the Joy of Chaos. Iron Warrior presents the Joy of Chaos. And it is a fully fledged painting stream. It's going to be a hangout painting stream that I think a lot of you are going to enjoy. Um, I actually, believe it or not, I have an open slot on the 8th of April, which I have posted to my Twitch subscriber channel uh, on Discord. So uh, I'll have to check that after stream. But if no one has jumped in on that, I will open up to the public and make it uh, not only for subscribers anymore. Um, there, there's a lot of stuff I'd like to do with that. But for now, just know there's a new stream happening called The Joy of Chaos. It's a painting stream uh, with special guests. And also that will be happening on April 8th and April 22nd as test streams. And then season one will start officially next year or maybe hopefully this year, depending on how things go. Uh, also, again, thank you for filling out the form. I really, really appreciate that. Amy, thank you so much for letting me do that. I needed to do that. I, I was thinking about it's doing it at the end of stream, right. but I thought I would just get it start, get it over and done with at the beginning of stream. It's quite all right, don't worry. That's all right, that's all right. Don't worry, don't worry. So we <laughs> already have a question. Uh, Denver Gamer, what's up, Iron Warrior? I'm the, the Iron Warrior Cosplay Q&A! <laughs> we, we are doing the Iron Warrior Cosplay Q&A with my lovely guest, Bermuda Rhombus. Amy is an absolutely fantastic cosplayer. But not only any like specific cosplay. You do a lot of cosplays, but the one that I specifically uh, and many others uh, in the Ghostbusters community know you from is <laughs> obviously Goza the Gozerian, the Goza the Traveler uh, from Ghostbusters, of course. Um, yes, the Traveler is, has come. That is the Traveler has come <laughs> onto the stream to do a QA. and a um, it's such a great cosplay. We've actually done... I, I love it. We've actually done, what is it, one or two conventions together now? Um, I've seen I you at don't... one, but we worked one together, I think. I think the first one I did where I was Goza, that's where we met. That's when we met. Um, and you were with um, the other Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there was a fly in my room. <laughs> um, and I think you were going to come to For the Love of Sci-Fi, but something happened and you couldn't make it yes i couldn't make the second one because i'd already been to the first one i think it was for the love of sci-fi where ernie hudson was there mm -hmm. yeah that was the that was the first one i had done yeah so i did do that one i did the one that had ray parker jr at. ray parker jr at as well i would have loved to have done that that would have been so cool oh. it it was really good i'm so sorry oh, it was it's amazing. fine it's fine I ex i'm not gonna lie i kind of expected <laughs> it to be good honestly it was um that that was actually a really fun weekend. It started really badly. Um, oh, no way. Because um, so I took the day off work um, because I wanted to get there early. So I live just I live near the NEC. So I live near Birmingham. Oh, the fact um, that you're just like a stone throw away. Oh. I, it, Twenty minutes. I'm at the NEC. Oh. Um, so we're down by the NEC for reference, um, and for Love of Sci-Fi is up in Manchester by the Trafford Centre. So I took, uh, I think I took the half day off work. It's a Friday. I'm, I've been whizzing my tits up all week with excitement. And I've gotten home. I've got everything. It's all packed. It's in bags. It's ready to go. My boyfriend's taken the day out, the weekend off work to come and look after me. Hey, like, you, right, have, you have your own Harry then. You have your own Harry then. I do. I do. He's, uh, he's wonderful. Um, and they are, aren't they? So, aren't, aren't Harry's the most amazing people. <laughs> Harry is the most wonderful person. Every I don't know. I think Mike might give him a run for his money. He is particularly wonderful. Oh, we'll we'll have to have a Harry. Spotter well, let off. them fight. Yeah, we'll have to have a Harry spotter <laughs> off. I th I'm not gonna lie. Harry has a shovel as default, so I don't know. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's that's 
that's a pretty good weapon to be fair. Oh, um, yeah. Hell yeah. But we we've gotten everything sorted. Uh, like everything's in bags and ready to go. I'm like right, Mike, grab this, grab this, grab this. I'll get this. I'll get that. Let's go. So we get in the car. Like we pack everything in. We drive all the way up to Manchester. Get there. We get to the hotel. We book in. Put everything in the room. I stand there and I go, "Where's my makeup?" Ah. And he's like, "What do you mean?" I was like. My big silver makeup case that has all of my makeup on my red contact lenses in. He's like, I don't know what you're on about. You were grabbing that. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I thought you were picking that one up. Oh, no. So we both thought the other one was picking up the uh, cat, the makeup case. Cat. He's cat. trying to scratch my mannequin. That's what he's doing. Um, and we'd gotten all that way. Neither of us checking with the other one or thinking anything about this makeup case or oh. even checking that we'd gotten everything <laughs> and we sat there for about 10 minutes and Mike's like can you rebuy what you need because we were opposite the Trafford Centre um, I had to think about it I like, tried to figure it out and I was like I can't because I can't get the contact lenses no they're quite and, a specialty um, thing yeah and there's um there's, I've got like a white pan stick, which is like theatre makeup, which I couldn't obviously replace. I need that. And he kind of sat there at his side and he's like, I'll go get it. Don't oh, worry. What an so, absolute legend. <laughs> what a legend he is. Because so I've been whizzing my tits off because Ray Parker Jr. was going to play Ghostbusters yeah. at like the, the opening night con don't, don't. concert Please. thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. And I was what so excited, like I was, I was nearly in tears. I don't blame I you. I would have been it. too. And I was like, "No, it's fine. I'll come with you. Like, I'm not going to make you drive all that way back on your own." And he's like, "No, honestly, it's fine. Stay and watch Ray because he doesn't really give a shit." Um, he's like, "You stay, enjoy. I'll go." <laughs> and um, so he got back, no problems. Got the thing, had a coffee, had a sit down. On the way back, all of the roads are closed up to the M up the M6. So we had to take like B roads and detours oh. all the way back. It took him like three and a half hours Bruh. <laughs> instead of about two. I swear, just marry him. He's, <laughs> like, uh, he's just like, the most what, wonderful person. What an absolute um, legend. So Holy he, uh, yeah. Crap. Also, also, <laughs> Quarry on with the hundred bits, my guy. Thank you so, so much, Quarry with the hundred yes. bitties. The hundred little, little bitty titties. I love the little bitty bitties. Thank you so much for the bits, hundred bits. Thank you so, so much. Really, really appreciate it. Um, are we having another hydrate? You're, 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 you're fair play. You no, I just drink loads. I was going to say you are drinking a lot. <laughs> Evening choir. Thank you. Also, hello everyone to us who have who has just turned up. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, uh, I can never say his name, but Kurz. I'm going to say Kurz. By the way, greetings. I he put the entire Iron Warrior litany. Absolutely, from Iron Cometh <laughs> strength, from Iron Cometh will. Yes, absolutely, you absolute legend. Casual prompts just arrived. Thank you so much for coming. Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, no, marry him. Seriously, holy crap. Yeah. He's, no, I'm. Wow. I'm more than happy to. <laughs> He's Seriously, delightful. We've that's... we've been together um, in May. We'll have been together for twelve years. Oh, so, that's so awesome! Yeah. So we have a flat. We've got a cat. It's all good. You got a flat cat. We've got a flat and a cat. Oh, flat we've and got a cat. Both. Oh, flat. I'm <laughs> no, but that honestly... cat can't be flat. He's too fat. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, it has got quite a flat. Yeah, fair, 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 fair. Annex, hello, welcome, welcome. Um, right, so do you know what we have? Like we've been talking for this long, we haven't even started the questions on on well, um, my Ghostbusters clipboard. Yes, this, I love this it. Is, this is the clipboard I used to use because I, ha I had a plain black one, and I, this is mm. the one I drew, it was just plain black. And I got these stickers made for my uh, proton pack case. You know, my big case mm. for my proton pack. Yes, I got these. I had one spare. And I was like, oh, where can I put it? And I realised that my clipboard seemed a bit bare and boring, so I put it on. And, you know, when I would host and stuff, I would use this when I was hosting. And people are like, why have you got Ghostbusters? Amazing. Because like, I'm a Ghostbuster. Also, Amazing. Na -na 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 -na. <laughs> thank, <laughs> th thank you so much to Ben, my, lo my lovely friend Ben. Uh, he's an absolute legend and 3D printed me that. He also um, he also 3D printed me some other stuff too. What have you got? I've, um, I've got a Gozer up on the top of my... You can't Obviously, you can't see it, but it's yeah. on top of my shelf right next to me. I've got a Gozer. 
uh, my friend Aaron, um, who is Titan Cosplay. He bought me that. Um, him and his girlfriend got me that for Christmas a couple of years ago. So awesome. And they are the best pair of filthy enablers. If there's a co- if there's a cosplay idea, they're the first two people to be like, yeah, you should do that. Yeah, that's you, a good idea. You, you've kind of you've kind of got to have those kind of people. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think my favorite one of, of those kind of people is, is like again, it has to probably be Harry. Because like when, when I give Harry an idea, it's like, I should do this, and Harry's just like, oh, but if you do this and add that, and I'm like, yeah, that could that would make yeah. What? Why are we doing this? Nice, <laughs> nice. We end up just doing the worst stuff. Oh, I tell you, nice. there is no Bermuda, only Goza from Guy Ball. From Guy Ball, props, <laughs> absolutely lovely. Ha- Harry's move set. By the way, they, they, you know, we did the two spotters fighting each other, and Harry has a shell. And stuff. Mm. They, they, they've been talking about it in the chat about making them Pokemon, and apparently Harry's move set is dig, <laughs> poison gas, sludge bomb, and earthquake. Oh my god! If 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 Mike's I watching think. this, I would really like him to weigh in because he probably doesn't really know much about Pokemon, even though I love. <laughs> If I'd love him to try and if you are I'd love here, him to try and tell me what he thinks that his his Pokemon moves would be. If if he is here, and obviously I don't know his username, but if he is here, in all caps, can you put like Ghostbusters so I know who who you are in chat? Obviously, no one else put Ghostbusters in capitals, but you know, Artemis Blackfire with the host. Thank you so much, wonderful human being. Thank you so much. And I don't know if you can hear it, but my cat is complaining in the hallway. I can hear them now. <laughs> I can hear them. Every time I talk to somebody on a stream or on the phone, he sits in the hallway and cries. You know how before the stream you were you were just like you know I, I really like I really like watching your streams they're so wholesome it's just it's getting that way again because Zug has just gifted a tier one sub to Shrivel thank you so much Zug you are an absolute mad lad lately honestly Zug the legend. We're gonna have to call him Zug the Legend. Like I, I, I have somebody who comes to my streams called the Galactic Elephant, and I keep I've going, seen I, them pop up I, before. That's I, a brilliant I, name. I keep going the Galactic Elephant. Praise be unto him. Um, <laughs> we're gonna have to do like Zug the Legend now. Like Zug the Legend, the Galactic Elephant. Praise be unto him. Yes. Zug with a tier one gifted sub to Devon De- Denver Gamer Nine. You're an absolute mad lad, dude. He's on one tonight. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Denver Gamer has now just hosted with a viewer as well. We're, we're not we're not gonna get anywhere with this chat. We're not gonna get anywhere. This is madness. I love Come on then. Give me your questions. Let's, let's, let's go. I again, Zug with a tier one sub to Artemis <laughs> Blackfire. This is madness! Zug is making it rain, my guy. First question for you before another sub or anything yes. comes in is how long have you been cosplaying? <laughs> How long have you been called? So, the first ever, oh, right, this will tell you, if you can do maths, you can find out how old I am. The first ever cosplay I made and did was in 2006. 2006. <laughs> so, you're you going to do the maths. 2006. Um, I was 15, maybe 16. I can't 15, remember what point of the year it was. Maybe 16. I'm going to need more, I'm going to need better numbers than this. Were you 15 or um, 16? I Probably 15. Probably 15. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> and um me and my friend decided we were going to go to the birmingham international comic show it was on the custard factory uh, in birmingham custard factory yes yeah it was it was actually a custard factory factory. have you been there yeah Yeah, no yeah yeah i've been there yeah yeah, i've been there so um, custard factory (laughs) we decided to go to birmingham international comics show because we were like hard into comic books again you can't see it but all my comic book collections just on like this side of me along with my action figures um and you got any ghostbusters action figures only the gozer most of it's star wars oh again equally as awesome that's my yeah that's my thing and watchmen i've got all the watchmen as well um and i i looked at the the flyer or the website i can't remember it was ages ago and it said on their cosplay competition. And I was like, oh my God, I've never seen a cosplay competition in this country. That's really exciting. Let's make costumes. Oh so I made Rogue from X Men Evolution. X-Men Evolution. Uh, that yes. specific one. Because at that time, I had the front of my hair dyed blonde. I had it like that for about six years. So, oh, that's, so awesome. that's loads of people remember me looking like that. So I was Rogue. And my friend Kit, who I loved dearly, was Gambit. And the pair of us went uh, with another friend who wasn't in cosplay. 
and we had the best day and it got to the cosplay competition. We were really excited and I won. I won the cosplay competition no because me and my friend were the only two entries. <laughs> that there was okay. literally, there was, there was me and him and the audience comprised of our friend that came with us and two other people we'd never met before. That was it. <laughs> What? Oh, how the times what? have changed! That oh yeah, oh how times have changed. So, so two thousand six, yes. so you, so two thousand three. So carry the one three point one four one five divided by pi, uh, divided by zero. Yeah. Yes. You put mm, yeah, like thirty. I, yeah. It's also funny. It's also funny because I knew already, but that's why I did the yeah. whole. Uh, I've, I've not actually written anything. I've just scribbled. It's just literal scribbles. Like I'm not doing anything. Just because I knew. The smiley Ma face. Like maths intensifies from things. Like. That's, also, that sounds like my maths exams in school. The the absolute mad lad that is Kenneth Kenneth Cosplay has has given a hundred bits yet again. Kenneth Cosplay. Genuinely, you're absolutely awesome. By the way, actually, Kenneth's cosplay, he's always here, always throwing bits at my face. And I have seen several times. Honestly, it's been crazy. And I saw on my phone that Kenneth's cosplay had gone live, right? While driving. <laughs> I was driving, I had music playing, and then my, not my notification noise went off, and the radio went quiet, and the notification noise went off. I looked over, and I went, oh, no. <laughs> I live, and I was like, no, I, like I can't watch. Oh. Now I'm driving, and I felt so bad because I was like, I need to throw some bits back. I need to throw some bits back and be like, meh, like yeah, have some bits back. So honestly, next time you go live, I swear I will try my absolute best to be there. I swear. Thank you so much. You're such a great supporter of this page, as are all of you for being here. You don't have to gift subs. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to throw bits or anything. You can just be here and enjoy the stream. That's all I want. Thank you so much. Anything else you guys do is just, you know, it's just that much better. Thank you so much. Genuinely. Love you guys. Genuinely. Um, yeah, so that is, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, for, a, so for, a, for a start off into the whole cosplay like, scene, that is, that is crazy. Candace cosplay with another was... hundred bits. Yeah, boy. There is a hype train starting now. Amazing. Diabolical Props has gifted a tier one sub to, oh, here we go, Lady Cleo. Lady Cleo, Lady mm, Cleo. Lady Cleo. Lady Cleo has been gifted herself. We are a level one hype train. We're a level one hype train. <laughs> this is madness. Honestly, you guys, you guys are too good to me. Honestly, you guys are too but, good to me. Genuinely. But yeah, so that that was my first kind of trip into cosplay. Um, and then i done like bits, like made costumes for things over the years. Um, but then about five or six years ago, um, one of my friends wanted to go to, uh, my friend Charlene wanted to go to a comic convention. She wanted to dress up and she wanted to um, have someone with her. And I was like, yeah, fuck it. Let's make a costume. So I made um, my first Princess Mononoke costume, um, which had like a fiberglass mask and ears and lots of fur and stuff. And I wore that. I posted some pictures online and um, my friend Simon, messaged me and he's like hey uh i'm really sorry if this is a weird question but do you want to cosplay at events for the company that i work for and i was like sure Abs absolutely why wouldn't i why not denver like, this sounds amazing thank you so much for 100 bits denver gamer honestly denver gamer are we having a bit fight we're not having a bit, but you know what's just happened? Denver Gamer was an absolute legend and gifted a uh, hundred bits to the channel. And then out of the blue, Zug, the man lad that he is, is just doing this in the chat right now and has just gifted do you know, five do you know what that deserves? to the community. Like, that deserves. Do you, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. I like that. <laughs> Zug, right? Zug, Zug, seriously, Zug, right? Honestly. Zug, bear with me. Zug, bear with me. Seriously, Zug, right? Okay, so. Okay, Zug, seriously, right? Zug, Zug, a rug. 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 you are now a VIP, my guy. 
because I genuinely nice. cannot thank you enough for the for the just legendary stuff that you are doing. You are gifting subs like crazy. You have no idea how much this means to me. And honestly, cat. Uh, there are people in chat saying cat. I just trash in the place just, now. Just wrecking stuff. Just do, does your cat do the the off the table? I think he's about to. You know, <gasps> he doesn't everyone, everyone, usually. Everyone, 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 everyone. Is now a cat. Oh yeah, no, yeah, whatever there that you was, go, he's gone. There you go. Denver Gamer with a hundred bits. Denver Gamer, absolutely, genuinely, Zug. You are now a VIP on the RRI Cosplay Twitch channel. Seriously, you deserve it. I wish I could give you more. Seriously, holy crap, you're amazing. Thank you so much, honestly. Kenneth's Cosplay had a nice day. Wanted to share some happiness. Kenneth Cosplay, Aww. you've you you're so honestly you're too kind. Honestly, you all are. Everyone, everyone is just too kind. I I worry Cosplay, ten Bermuda. I will I, I would die for that cat. Die of all the props. I uh, mean, that, you can just have him because he's awful. I I'll have him. <laughs> I want a cat. <laughs> I'll drop him off tomorrow. Please, I want a cat. He'll tomorrow. scratch your carpet and bite you all the time. <laughs> Fine by me. But uh, yeah, Merlin saying cosplay questions. I'm not gonna lie, Merlin. I absolutely <laughs> would. <laughs> but the absolute madness that has been happening. We're on a level three hype train right now, and it is it is beyond mind blowing. So <laughs> do you know that's do you know something right? Honestly, do you know that's something I've not been able to work out. I have actually sat at my computer desk being like. What do I do? I'm talking to someone. I'm asking questions, but I, I I absolutely have to acknowledge when people you know gift subs or subscribe or throw bits and stuff because I want to thank everyone individually and just be you know thank everyone for doing what they're doing. But I have no idea how while talking to someone or while someone is talking, it's always really difficult. Party puffers, pa just pop one off. Do you know what I don't? I do you know what? That's a good idea. Even, Every time even while they're talking, thing. even while they talk, I'll just go bang and just like throw it there and just like That's it. Haku confetti. Haku is a grade A dickhead. Sorry, grade A dickhead. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Is that Mikey? Mikey nineteen ninety four. Is that That's him? The one. Is he here? There the he is. boy is here. He is here. He is here. He is. Mikey, are you doing, my dude? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> um, I don't know if you know who my guest is tonight. This is the wonderful Bermuda Ramos. <laughs> I wore a cosplay. We could do a simple question to start. What, what are both of your favorite sweets? Oh, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. We were in the middle of a story. So I will add that question to the list. My lovely mod will send that into the chat. Carry on. I do apologize. So, I would so, say yeah, I apologize. Um, I'm so happy. <laughs> so going back. Um, so I, I first started in 2006, made a few bits and pieces. And then uh, my friend offered me, do I want to come and cosplay for his company uh, conventions? And I was like, of course what do you want me to dress up as he's like well it's trading cards that we're selling so the big ones are, are pokemon and um magic uh final fantasy was uh like a new trading card game at the time and he was like well if you want really i was like pokemon pokemon yeah why? so many pokemon like don't get me wrong i play um, magic the gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh, but pokemon I, I have a deep burning love for Pokemon and I have done since I was eight. I, I, so I like I, I remember I watching tell. the first episode on TV and being like, well, this is my new obsession now. I'm not gonna lie to you, episode one is like when I when I went back when it was, it was on Netflix, wasn't it? Was it on Netflix? It's so bad. Yeah. It's Go back so there and it's awful. just like wow, but don't get me wrong though. I need to ask As an eight year old. I need to as an eight year old, it's like this is the best thing ever. I would die for this. Best program. thing ever. Tell me. Pretty much. Tell me, what, um, what uh, number of Pokemon do you believe there are? Is it 151 or any other answer that's wrong? Nah. Nah, I think we're up to like 850. Any Pokemon fair game, so I don't care. So 151, like. yeah, I'm joking, I'm joking, it's fine. Oh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen, the hype train is over. Thank you so much. Honestly, really, really appreciate it. And also the Bearded Cyborg cosplay has just resubscribed tier one for three months. Thank you so much, Bearded Cyborg. Honestly, what up, nerds? Guess who's spending their Friday crafting? A wildcat cow. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's madness. Oh, oh, we have had a hydrate from the wonderful Merlin. Oh. Uh, hydrate. How hydrate? I like your mug. 
I like your mug. That's a nice mug. Is that Nick Cage? Yeah. That is Nick Cage. Nice it's mug. Nicholas Cage's face on things. Nicholas, on my Nicholas Cage. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Yes. So um, so yeah, that's that's basically how I kind of got started. And since I've started doing conventions for companies, it's it's mainly Pokemon. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I just stand on a stand just as a Pokemon and. I'll either like sell cards, depending on what time of the day it is. I'll either be out teaching kids how to play the Pokemon trading card game, um, or I'll be selling cards just on the stand. And people have come up to me like year after year and been like, oh, every year, like where you are is our meeting point because we can always see you. Like we always know you're going to be here, which is really nice. I think like one year I had the most adorable interaction with a child. Like I'm not, not big on kids. I'm not gonna lie. I don't no, really no. Like I, th children. I think if I'm right in saying you, you, you kicked a, a child. But I'm joking. That was me. Yeah, that yeah. Straight me. down a staircase. That was, um, me. that was yeah. That was me, <laughs> space marine. But it was the kid's fault. <laughs> Absolutely, they tripped. I didn't help them at all. Um, but this this kid comes up to me, and um, I'm just a Jirachi, which is another Pokemon. I've got these big like Stevie Nicks um, arms on. And I've got my big mm, wig, and I'm. That. About six foot tall because I've got my big shoes on as well. And he just tugs at the end of my sleeve and he looks up at me. And I'm like, you're right, mate. <laughs> and he's like, Jirachi is my favourite Pokemon. <laughs> that was the moment my heart actually melted. And, oh, yeah, and I was we, like, we, oh, we should do, thank we should do you. that as like the Grinch thing. And at that moment, Amy's heart grew three sizes. <laughs> it, it really was like that because I wasn't expecting it. And I was like, Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. And he's like, bye. <laughs> just walks up. <laughs> like, oh. That's madness. That's... It was so sweet, to, honestly. To, to, to clarify, by the way, I was being filmed in my Iron Warrior in Cardiff and the person with the camera was on the was like in front of me and I was told to like stomp really violently towards it and go past the camera and they were going to edit it. And while I was stomping, I had my old helmet on, which is just the two eyes and I couldn't see down at all. My new helmet, I can see. And this like like three-year-old or four-year-old toddler just running across the thing and a, like, m the mum's like running after the, the kid and the kid ran over and just and just the side of his leg clinked the side of my Iron Warrior boot and I obviously I didn't feel a thing. So I kept going. I didn't see anything. Just came from like this angle so I can't see. It's like a blind Straight spot. In. Straight into the boot. Fell over. I like, didn't actually kick but like fell over. It hit them with my boot. Walked to the camera. By the, by then I'm seeing the camera guy like, like drop his camera and sort of like put it on like his belt and then start walking over. And I'm just like, what's happened? I turn around. I see a child on the floor, the mother and the photographer being like this, like, are you okay or whatever? And I'm just like, turn around, start stomping towards the kid. My spotter comes over, takes my helmet off and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, are you okay? And the mother is like on the floor with the kid like, oh my God. God. <laughs> like oh, i'm so sorry are you okay and it was just really funny the, oh the kid came God. up to my stand and I, I i gave him some stuff i, I had a i had a tub of oh. sweets on my desk and i'd bought in a shop and i was just like tips him out i was like yeah i don't care how old you are have these candies oh. i'm so sorry so sweet. toe <laughs> punch a toddler oh no seriously that's a story i've told a fair few times but people keep forgetting and i still feel bad i, I think i've made some children cry as goes oh, yeah, that's a on my, on my old bolter. I've got tally marks for the sharpie when we went to a college <laughs> for the first time, and how many kids I've had crying a day. It was madness. I've I've scared a lot of adults uh, as well because um, I don't know if you remember, but I've only scared one because they've got the there was the music, and then there was kind of like wibbly wobbly lighting on me. Um, you can actually see I was moving if I did move, and I just yeah. stand completely still for ages at a time or just move very slowly if I wasn't like changing position and the amount of time somebody just be stood in front of me just like just looking at it thinking I was a model and I'd move and they'd just be like oh my god it's honestly a it's a person I cannot get absolutely over freaking your, out your goza cosplay I cannot get over it it's you actually have it with you yes I was Which, just about to say do you want me to get it out of the box yes yeah, please like, show you what it looks like when it's not on a person like Gozer is terrifying even for adults yeah I know right Denver Gamer seriously holy crap like look at that's the front of it's the by front. the way there we go right obviously for you guys who <laughs> might not have seen if you go to the links that Ranger of Krieg has just posted all your links have come up if you go to Instagram you can see her Goza cosplay. It's so you know, <laughs> good. It's so I'm good. actually holding it upside down so that, that everyone gets to see the crotch. Goza um, crotch. Goza crotch. There you go. That's the top of it. 
I love the. Um, you, have you seen the classic photo of Goza lying on the on the thing, like draw me like one of your French girls with yes. the Ghostbusters around her, doing like a photo. Yes, it's so cool. It's I've, so so cool. I have so many reference photos, and every year that goes by, I find a new one. I find one I haven't seen before, or an angle that I haven't seen, or I notice something every time I watch the film that I didn't see the first time round. Um, <laughs> Diabolical props. Goza crotch is now trending. Oh, we've had uh, Nate the Chill Van Halen has redeemed a hydrate. Hail hydrate. Um, hail hydrate. Hail hydrate. I like your Death Star mug. Property of the Death Star Canteen. Property of the Death Star Canteen. Move along, move along. Um, but, yeah, I just... Oh, I love this. Permanently on the... Yes. Oh, that's so it's got genius. nails. it's got nails glued to it. That's absolute it's, it's... genius. When I've got this on, I can't do anything because it's it's completely like hands, arms. Um, the wow, boots are separate, yeah. but they're pinned together, so it's it's one piece, more yeah, or less. Yeah, yeah. So um, I can't God. do anything. This is why I need Mike with me because he oh, yeah, uh, to, unzips me. Like feed you water a... <laughs> and stuff. And I, I think if I'm right, he did feed you water at uh, uh, M- MCM, Bur- MCM Birmingham 2018. Yes. So, was that, yeah, the, last, quite a was while, that the last time we saw each other? No, I think I've seen you since at another show. I think what I've show seen... did we... What show did I, I see? I don't know. <laughs> I know I've seen you since, but I think you were probably in your Iron Warrior. Oh, Kenneth Cosby, I have probably. to leave. Need to finish Junkrat's leg. We'll do painting on Saturday stream. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. Kenneth Cosplay, ladies and gentlemen, go say, go say a big hi to Kenneth Cosplay on his stream on Saturday um, also, um, Kenneth Cosplay, um, genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for all the bits. I, I cannot thank you enough. I honestly, thank you so much. Really, really means a lot. Um, but yeah, I, I think I've seen him, like, feed you water and stuff. But yeah, well, but... I, I, <laughs> yeah, I can't do sure? anything in this. Are you sure I was I can't. in Iron Warrior last time I saw you? I, I think you might have been. I can't remember. What event was my... that? Brain's really fuzzy. It I was, don't know. Was it was it probably the dark times. <laughs> it was. It was. <laughs> it was probably at an MCM somewhere. Uh, but I'm not sure. I really can't remember. Um, I have a terrible memory for people and faces. Um, oh, no. I'm good with faces. <laughs> I'm, I'm great know. with faces. I'm okay-ish with numbers. But names, I'm completely... There, there's so many people I know in chat that mm. I know as their username when I see them, and then I panic because I can't remember their name. I feel... Yeah. I, it gives me a gut-wrenching, upsetting feeling yeah. because I feel so bad that I don't remember their name. Yeah, I'm and the same. it's just like... I'm like... And it, it probably doesn't come across it, but I'm quite shy and I'm quite awkward and but, like I'm really... So, like I'm really anxious. I've, ter- I, I've got terrible anxiety. Like, um, like my stage fright, I hate... I hate going on stage. I've done a few cosplay contests, but I like I shit my pants. I hate being on stage so much. Um, and I'd kind of do it just to kind of like get, try and get out of being having such stra- stage fright. Yeah, yeah, to be yeah. honest. But um, I just hate it. But but yeah, go back to this thing. Um, I can't do anything in it. I can't zip it up and I can't unzip it. <laughs> so Mike has to do that for me. If I need the toilet, I have to be like, Mike, I need to go to the toilet. Please, can you unzip me? <laughs> and he'll like, unzip me. I'll go running off and I'll come back and be like, thank you. Can you zip me back up, please? Thank you so right, much, Artemis Blackfire, for coming. Take care. She's got to go. She's got to go do <laughs> mum duties, probably. I love, I love that. Thank you so much for the host, Artemis Blackfire. It means a lot, honestly. Mikey, 1994 has followed... Thank Yay, you Mikey. so much, my dude. Um, speaking of Mikey, by the way, we had we had a question uh, uh, a fair bit back from Nate the Chill Val Hallen. Um, so what is Mikey's Pokemon move set? We we were talking about this. So, oh yeah. So, so, so Mikey, you didn't know. Uh, you were, you might not have been here, but um, my spotter is Harry. So so Harry does for me what you do for the lovely Bermuda Rhombus, uh, or the wonderful Amy. Um, wow, like the mug. That mug. Yeah. Wow. I, wow. <laughs> Um, honestly, uh, he helps me out getting in, in, in costume and stuff. He helps me get out. He feeds me water, just like you do for, uh, for Amy. But we were just saying we should pit them together 
against each other to see who's the better spotter. Now, Harry's moves have been posted in the chat somewhere. Uh, I can't quite find them right now due to all the subs. I just, could someone copy paste his moves back into the chat, please? One of them so was I Dig. See them. So that's all One I can of remember. them is Dig. One of them is absolutely Dig. But um, genuinely, um, I will you probably could, have to think of them for him. Yeah, if you if you could post his moves up in the chat. But Mikey, we need to know what kind of moves would you pick for yourself, knowing nothing about Pokemon, if I'm right. Pretty much. Pretty much. I need to see this. This is something that needs to happen. So if, if uh, Mudslide was another move set, was Mudslide one of them? If someone could go back up into the chat, if possible, I don't know how far you can go back. But if you could, oh, there you go. Harry's move set. Thank you, Nate, so much. Thank you to everyone who has been posting the, the moves. Harry's move set: Dig, Poison Gas, Sludge Bomb, and Earthquake. So uh, thank you, Nate and Shrivel. Uh, I'm 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 looking forward to seeing what uh, Mikey picks him. If not, would you like to pick for him? I, I, I will think of it as we go through some more questions. I'll try and think of some. Is there a move called Fetch since he went all the way back to get your makeup bag? Is there a move, um, do you think there's like a move called Fetch? Or oh, God, I think there is. There might uh, it's, like a, it's like an item stealing move or it might be an yeah. ability. I can't, there, it, there is something like that. Um, that, but yeah, no, we'll think about that. So let's go some more yeah, of your questions yeah, yeah, and yeah, we'll absolutely, have a thing. Absolutely, absolutely. We will get through the questions, but I will tell you this. This is, this <laughs> is nice. This is... I'm enjoying this. I hope I hope you're enjoying yourself. I'm having a hell of a time. I, I hope am. everyone in chat is having a good time as well. I mean, well. you're letting me talk shit to strangers on the internet. And Why the thing is, I? I can't even see who's here. I can't see the chat. I can't see would who's in the like, chat. Would you like to anything. get the chat up on your phone or something? Would you like to get the chat? Up? You're welcome <laughs> My phone's to. out of battery. Oh, fair, fair, fair. Uh, oh, <laughs> Mikey, Mikey, people guessing how many mugs are around, I have no idea. I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> When it comes to Pokemon, I have no clue. I affected Splash Creep... Splash Creep Repellent. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm on 106p here in Italy. Oh, my God. He's in Italy? He is. He's stuck in Italy. Um, oh, dude. So, so Mike works um, all over Europe and abroad and stuff oh, in wow. the UK. Um, and he should have been back for Easter. And I found out today that he's got to wait in Italy until Wednesday. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I know, oh, it's, the move it's, is it's called my Easter. Steel. Oh, no, the movie's called Thief. Uh, well, I don't know. Might... There you go. He's not, he's not much of a thief, though. He's more of a, I'll go back and get it for you. You watch You watch the Ghostbusters, man, and we'll go. <laughs> watch the Ghostbusters. <laughs> Came back and he was like, was it good? I was like, yes, it was so wonderful. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite gutted about this as well. Kenneth's cosplay is gone now, but Kenneth's cosplay said, I love that Pikachu mask in the background. Reminds me of my Pikachu armor I did two years ago. Oh P wow! Pikachu, I'm gonna look Pikachu that up. Libre. Yes, I'm gonna look that up. Uh, it's just it's one of the more like ridiculous Pikachu's you can do. Um, so I love that. And there's another one I want to make, which is called Nashville Pikachu, which is basically just cowboy Pikachu cowboy with a banjo. Pikachu! Oh my god! Cow <laughs> Pikachu in a cowboy hat would be adorable. So it, oh, it is honestly. It that is. would be so so cute. Um, diabolical so, props. I wore a cosplay and. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of like adding like Bermuda rhombus, he's put Diabolical Pops at I'm Warwick Cosplay at Goza Crotch. <laughs> Can you answer a lifelong <laughs> question for me? I've wondered since I was a child are Goza's bubbles solid or flexible? On my costume, they're solid. I believe on the original, they're also solid. Um, mine are made from Christmas baubles and. Um, Clear Warbler? Have you ever seen that? Yeah, I've seen Clear Warbler. It's quite expensive, that, isn't it? Uh, is it? It's about the, the price that Warbler is, which is expensive. Yeah, but yeah. It, yeah it's, um, what is it Black Warbler that's dearer? Black's the fancy one. So yeah, Black's the, the one that's a bit more one. dearer. I think it's Black the fancy um, I think it's like a touch dearer. <laughs> Mikey just says, yay, thief, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> I'll try and think of some more. We'll come at the end. I we'll love kind that, of... I love that figure out what his, uh, what his moves will be. Oh, oh I'm just thinking okay, of okay, sorry. I'm just getting a question uh, sorted out here. We have a question from the wonderful Cax. Uh, yep. it's, um Let's have a look now then. Uh, question to guest, question to the wonderful Bermuda Rhombus. Uh, uh, marry, kiss, kill, uh, Ghostbusters. Oh, marry, kiss, and kill for Ghostbusters. 
Oh, out of the ghost well, the original, out of the yeah, the original cast, or, original cast, present and. Can I include the girls as well for Amanda the Call? Do you know? How about this then? Do Ghostbusters, the original Ghostbusters, mm. obviously Ghostbusters Two is the same, but like do Ghostbusters? Well, I say the same. It's got some other characters. Um, do, do Ghostbusters, then do the reboot, and then and also by the way, you can go Ghostbusters Past and Present as well. Obviously, rest in peace, Egon Spengler. Absolute. Um. I would probably have to marry Spengler. <laughs> yeah, you'd marry Cause, Spengler. Cause he's adorable. He's just an adorable nerd. Like, yeah, who doesn't right. want to um, have a collection of molds, spores, and funguses? Um, oh, who wouldn't? Um, I'm gonna mash them all together. If we're going for it, I'd probably kiss Holtz, Holtzman from the reboot. I can't remember what her name is. I'm not what the you. actress's name I'm is. Not, I'm not um, she's the one with the curly hair and the glasses. I'm not going to lie to you. Holtzman, I, I totally would too. Although I did find out after the film quite disappointingly that she's not into men. <laughs> I was just kind of like... Oh. See, that'd time. be all right then. Because I'd, I'd just snug her. She'd be all right. She's just adorable. Um, oh, she is so cute. I genuinely avoid... enjoyed her. That song. Ranger of Creek uh, Cosplay has put Kenos' uh, Pikachu in the chat as a link. So I will... I will. Uh, oh. send, I'll send that to you later. Send me that later. I'll have a look at that. Um, avoid. Uh, mm, um, oh. Mm. Just Ghostbusters or Ghostbusters characters. What? Mm. Anyone from the. Let's do the, the movies, and then if you want, we can diaspora. Do, we can do everything. Because you have to avoid Vigo the Carpathian. You have to avoid Vigo you the have Carpathian. To avoid Although, Vigo. I'm not gonna lie. There, there must be someone. There must be someone out there who's like, you know, marry Vigo the Carpathian. <laughs> yeah, well, Score you never know. Strange, <laughs> stranger things have happened. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Oh, Mer Merlin has redeemed a hydrate. Hell hydrate. Hell hydrate. Oh, honestly, I love it. Hey, Weedo Bix, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> So um, I don't think we've answered really many questions today. We've just been talking random shit. So fine. what what else do you want to know? But from the from the cartoons though, from the cartoons, if you know the Ghostbusters cartoons, I don't remember them well enough oh, to give okay. you any names. Fair, fair, fair. I, I'm disappointed I that it. none of you married the Slimer. <laughs> He's a messy eater and he smells. Yeah, it's pretty gross. <laughs> and he slimes um, you, and it's not. And no, uh, that could be taken in such a Anyway, <laughs> is is cosplay something you see yourself doing in ten years' time? Oh yeah, definitely. No, I just I like making stuff, so I'm always going to be making something in some capacity. I think I'd like to be like the old lady that turns up to a convention in a costume, you know, like um, you and Mikey could do Sylvester and Tweety, the old lady from Sylvester. I was literally Tweety. just about to say, like the old lady that does the old lady from Sylvester oh, and Tweety, that's or awesome. or um. Lady Tremaine from the the Aristocats, that kind of old lady thing. That's probably where I'd head with it, but I don't know. But oh. yeah, no, I definitely still keep making things. M Mikey, uh, Vigo gave me nightmares. Sad story with the actor, though. Yeah, yeah, sad story. I don't know what happened with the actor. <laughs> It's more... Do you know what? I will tell you after stream. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll look I it up later. Don't want to go like, sure. bring in the still, like, bring in, like, the mood <laughs> down. This is, this is too wholesome and fun. I think I'm just going to carry on like that. But, um, but yeah, no, I, I like that. You, you would carry on into old age. I would love to be, uh, like, a, a white, white hair, white beard, old me in, like, my 50s or 60s. Just in my that own room, stood there being like, "You kids don't know you were born." <laughs> I was cut back before your hoverboards and like all that kind of stuff, and just whatever happens in that, in no, that length of time. My my hair started going grey, so I am slowly sliding down there. But I am I'm convention mum, so I'm just going to lean into it. Lean I've always got it. snacks and drinks and painkillers for everybody when I'm at shows. I'm just like you're my my child now. <laughs> we we tell I will feed you. We tell I will say. show you all the hacks. <laughs> all the all the little. Tri oh my god! Can you get all the tricks? Can you get a Mary Poppins bag, like the really deep, the really deep one? Oh, a big just, bag of holding. The, the big bag of holding. Uh, <laughs> by the way, just have you seen, out you, hammer space. You've seen that, right? Um, you've seen that, like the theory behind uh, Mary Poppins being a time lord. 
I have, yeah. It's such a cool one. I actually thought that was really fucking badass. It worked. Um, we tell Bix, I could never get used to the fact that Ray in the real Ghostbusters had the voice of Garfield. Yep, same act, same guy, same voice actor. Oh, yeah. Same voice actor. <laughs> I've forgotten about that one. That is a pretty good one. Um, yeah. So pre-COVID, mm-hmm. pre the dark times, mm-hmm. uh, back when it was all sunshine and puppies, do you prefer to work alone or with others when it comes to putting together a cosplay, like a build? Either either a cosplay for like both of you, if you're going as like a duo, or even a bigger-ish cosplay for yourself. You get someone in to help you with it. I like to make things on my own. Um, I am a bit of a control freak. Um, and I'm not very good at explaining myself either. So if I want something done, um, I know exactly what needs doing. Well, I can't explain to you what I want. <laughs> so it would be like, oh, can you glue these things on here? And it'd be like, no, not like that. I want it like this. Not those ones, but like this. And it's it would just be, I'd lose too many friends. <laughs> I, I like that. <laughs> I would lose too many friends. I really you, would. So um, I don't... I'm not gonna lie. If you were to come to me for like, you know, any like, oh, can you can, do you know where I can source this or something like that? I'd, mm. I'd be like, yay, she needs, she needs like, she she came to me for help, yay. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm the same, but I've had friends mm. who are the same, and like, so like I've I've had someone come over and be like, oh, why didn't you do this with with like, you know, this prop that you're building? And I'm just like, ah, oh, because, and I've explained like how like I can't do it because of like X, Y, and Z. Um, but then I just feel like a dick after. <laughs> I'm just like, but I might consider it. I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, no, like, I'm honestly. I'm very annoyingly. No, this is how I want to do it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, no I, other. I, yeah. Have, no other I way. A, I have a That's plan, it. and it's like I have a plan, and it's like yep. this is it. Like. Yep. But don't get me I'm wrong. Sorry. Don't get me wrong. I have had people be like, "Oh, uh, um, like, are you like?" They ask you a question. Like, oh, are you adding this to that? Like as a question, and I've just been like, "Wait!" I look over and I'm gonna look at my plans. I'm like, "I could totally fucking add that," and I'm like, "Thank mm. you so much for like, like, <laughs> like." And then I add it to the add it to whatever I need, and it's just like help. Mm. <laughs> like, and it works out really, really well. Um, in terms of uh, in terms of like uh, cosplays that you have, because I know you have so mm. many, and I'm 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 preparing myself for a bit of a shock here, just in case. But what is your favorite cosplay that you've uh, that you've got? It is Goza. It is, like I can't. It can't <laughs> not be Goza. I it's was just, so worried. It's such. It's such a joy to wear, and the best thing is I don't have to wear a wig. Yeah. Just, yeah. You just. You just. Do, it's oh, you're, so you're, good. The, the way you do your hair. Oh, you the way it's you do just. Your hair. It's so just cool. solid. There's yeah. so much hairspray in it. Uh, I don't know if you ever saw the video of me taking my hair out after. I'm a not show, sure if you've but... been taking your hair out, but you did do something awesome, um, where. You let me uh, afterwards. You let me touch it. You yeah, me, it's me, just it's me, just crunchy and solid. It. And it was literally just like, "Cool, can I feel your hair?" And it was literally, "Wow, cool, that's <laughs> yeah. awesome, holy crap!" Yeah, <laughs> there's like... that much that much hairspray, and it's all back combed and everything. And um, I took a video. I think it might be on my Instagram story at some point, but I took all the hairpins out, and nothing happened. And I'm literally just like shaking my head and it's just it's slowly moving <laughs> but it's not coming out <laughs> it's just it's ridiculous uh, so, uh, and then it'll get to the point the back will come down and then the front will still be up how short so is I'm your hair like, now because you had your hair uh, it's it's about here oh because you had it a lot shorter once didn't you you had it like um no it's it's always been like a uh, i don't actually like long having long like hair really long so hair. I, yeah i keep it about there because it's mm. long enough to get like up Abundant, and away but not so much like it's in your way all the time yeah 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 fair, fair, so fair, fair. also thank you ranger creek giving our boy zug a shout out please do my guy anyone who anyone here who is like literally in we have 21 viewers by the way thank you so much for coming to watch the wonderful stream with my fantastic guest bermuda rhombus for those of you who have just arrived um she's like one of the best the best Goza cosplayers I've ever seen. And I've only seen <laughs> 11. No, 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 no. I mean, really? Online, no, no, no. Like online. I, oh, met in, oh. Pers- met in person is like three or four. Yeah. But I mean, mm. online. You'd be surprised there's not many Goza cosplayers. Even no, online, there isn't. Like, but I've seen like 11, 
maybe 11. That's just a, a wild ballpark figure. But I've seen a fair few online. And every time I go back to yours, and I'm just like, you just do it justice. <laughs> You just like, that makes me feel like, really warm and fuzzy inside. Oh, good because like you see you and it's like holy crap, there's go like oh, there's go. When we I've were spent, at the booth, remember yeah. when we were at the booth, the amount yeah. of people all the time. We we would barely have a time to sit like to do anything. We barely yeah. had time to get our own photos of us like shooting you with the. Then there's one photo of me. Yeah, there's you. like one of of me and was it? Si- I think it's Simon Green. I think it might be Simon. Sure. I'm, it's me and like. Oh, I swear, we're, we're just like we're just there, like doing things. You're just like doing your stuff. Oh, so cool, it is so badass. And the, the guys who do the set as well, uh, night nightmare, nightmare machine. Nightmare machine. Um, unfortunately, they don't have the set anymore. No, I um, know. They told he told me, and I was like, you you do you understand? I would have grabbed a terror dog from you. The thing is, like, I would have he sold it. Gotten a terror dog. And then I I found the guy that had it, like the new owner. And uh, he put it up for sale, and I was like, holy shit, this is the chance they can get it back. Oh my God, or, yeah. you know, somebody in the Ghostbusters community that I know might be interested. Like, I messaged a couple of people. I messaged, um, I think I messaged Nathan or Frank. And I was like, holy shit, like, the dude's selling it. Like, And then by the time they'd gotten on it, it, it sold. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where it is now. I don't blame, like, I don't blame them for being, like, late. For getting it because I'm shocked that that thing sold as slow as it did. I'm shocked that you got a chance to see it and then have to go measure, measure, measure I, people because it that was, set was it insane. sold within an hour, I think. That is so my that, that I, set. I, for anyone who I, hasn't seen that set, um, it's on your Instagram as well, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's on, just pictures. Yeah, but still, uh, Bermuda Rhombus has it on her on her page. Also, if you go to, I think on my cosplay page, there's a Ghostbusters album uh, from that event. Um, and that was um, 2018. MCM 2018 MCM Birmingham. Yes. Um, there's an out. There's a picture of me, and also there are several pictures of me. I think stood in between the terror dogs, like that with my proton pack, and it looks just so so cool. It's Very so incredible. Cool. It is absolutely. I, I loved loved that set, and I loved oh, hanging out with those guys. It was stunning, and they were it. such nice guys. They really are. They were such nice guys. I, I really miss are. this is what I miss about I miss this. I miss the events and stuff. We um yeah. we have another we have a, we have well we have two well actually we have one question. It's sort of the same, but it's it's mm. it's it's split a little bit. Um Caxor and Shrivel, um, they've asked, um, do you have any Warhammer forty K uh plans? Or do you already have one? But also, um, do you have any 40k cosplays from the, from the Warhammer universe, like uh, an Adeptus Sororitas, like a Sister of Battle or something? So, do you have no, any plans? No, I know nothing about Warhammer. At, like, absolutely nothing. Well, I'm afraid that's all we have time for tonight. Thanks. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Sorry, we no, can't no, be no, friends no. anymore. Hon- <laughs> honestly, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I am, I am not like... Yeah, can you imagine? Just I, get up to leave. Bye. <laughs> just, the rest of the stream is just you, like, making tea in the background. <laughs> it's just like... You coming back? I was only joking. <laughs> I love honestly, that. I I know like real bare minimum. Like I I can recognise something that is um, a Warhammer character costume because they're all like even though they're all vastly different, they're all very similar. If that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I got you. So like you and uh, Dave uh, makes a cosplay. Like I know. Exeter cosplay. Like, Shout out stuff. to my boy. <laughs> The day, the day of I love Dave, Dave. Um, awesome. So I know, like, of it. I know what it is, but I, I don't know enough about it. And I'm, I'm one of these people that, like, if I'm gonna make a costume of something, it's, it's something that I really like. And I've really got to be into. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, we have two things. Two things. The, mm-hmm. no, the first one is hail hydrate. Hail hydrate. Hail hydrate. Hail hydrate. Oh, wow! I love that mug. It's such a funny mug. Wow. <laughs> and also, uh, Nocturne's Forge is here, the wonderful Andrew. Hello. Andrew is here. Andrew is one of the people who messaged me being like, oh, you have someone I know on. I'm going to jump on. <laughs> like, watch. And I'm like, well, hey. I love that. Um, and also, uh, Wito Bix. Yes. We, like, I, that's what I've been trying to think about the whole stream. <laughs> the, the set was in Western Supermare. Mm. Yeah, they, they did. Uh, I don't know what it's called, though. Was it called The Stars of Time? 
No, I don't think it was. That oh one. yes, that rings a bell. I, yeah. I I think that might have been before I did it. Yeah, there was one in Western Supermare, and um, my my wonderful friend Michael Van Kesteren, who's also a Ghostbuster, um, would drove us there to Western Supermare because I, I I wasn't crazy confident with driving that distance yet because I'd only just started mm. doing Ghostbusters cosplays and stuff. I wasn't I didn't I wasn't like into the Iron Warrior as heavily as I as I am now, and he drove us there. And uh, we got there, and the ghost, the Goza set was there, and we got to meet the guys and have a chat. And they, they were so nice. We stayed there the whole day with their charity bucket. Mm. And we were just like, hey, oh. donation for a picture with the Ghostbusters in the set. And they were like, yeah. And they were just like, Doug, guys, you don't have to do this. We, we really appreciate it. it was like, you don't have to. It was like, no, no, is it okay if we do it? Like, carry on. Like, please do. So we would mm. be like, donations? Picture with the Ghostbusters, yeah, that kind of thing, and like, oh, it was so much fun. It was. Do it you was... know how I ended up doing this? Go on. I'd love to know. Um, I don't know if you know the story. So, um, I'm like a lot of us were on a lot of like cosplay groups on Facebook, and um, I can't tell you which group it was, um, but it was literally five weeks before the event. Um, one of the guys put a post up. And he's like, "Hey, we're looking for a person." Um, to make this costume and be the character on a set for the MCM for the weekend. It's in four weeks. Can anybody do it? And I looked at it and I was like, hmm, yeah, I think I can do that. Cause I, I stretchy stuff is my jam. Um, I love the Ghostbusters films and it just looked like a fun challenge to make something that kind of fancy in such a short period of time. And I think the first, like the, the original version of it, I'd spent over 80 hours on in the space of about four weeks. And that was literally, I've got to work in the morning, come home in the evening, have some food, work on it till about 11 o'clock at night, solidly um, up until the event. And then obviously pretty much all day, all weekend on it. And that's, that's how I made it. That's, that's so in the space proper, of four weeks. Proper dedication. And it was really cool. And do you know what? It's one of the cheapest costumes I've ever made. Do you know what? That's my next... Co- that's my next... I've, I've had like a two-sided coin kind of question, which mm. is like cheapest, uh, most expensive and cheapest cosplays that you've done. Mm. But but also, um, I, I'm, I have to bring it up. I do apologize, but I have to bring it up. But do you remember when... Do you remember we were talking? And you and I was just like, so how's it going? And you're like, great. My, some of my balls are falling off. Yeah, <laughs> you pretty much. You, so, you literally just so, <laughs> not, so casually and was just like, yeah, some of my balls are falling off. And I was like, oh, hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, um, every time I go to an event, there's a little trail of bits that fall off it. Because, um, <laughs> I mean, I'm not good at hand sewing. I never have been. Neither am I. And I mean, have you seen my sewing machine? There's... <laughs> do you have one yeah it's a singer sewing machine it's a big cast iron thing with a crank handle yeah <laughs> it's my grandmother's <laughs> oh that's adorable um but yeah i i'm bad at hand sewing. that's why i spent so many hours on it because i'm so slow at it <laughs> and i just weren't that good and i think i tried to count how many beads and stuff there are on it oh, and I, there's there's hundreds there's literally hundreds on there <laughs> it's disgusting how many there are on there, and I keep like, taking bits off and putting new ones on. So I'm, I think I'm up to about 120 hours on it now. I was literally about to ask you, like, how many of the bubbles have you had to replace? None of the big bubbles. Okay, cool, cool. Um, I took all of one type of the bead off. There was like a real shit bead on it that I didn't like. I took every single one off and replaced every one with like a, a clear iridescent one. There's about hundred. Like, okay. Cash just trying to push things off the desk. Uh, there's about a hundred that I've swapped out. Well, sure, on there, but other than that, I'm just adding them. You don't want water on the floor. No, it was my. It was actually my coaster. Oh, it's your coaster. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So, a shout out to Handmade in the Hell Mouth. Oh yeah, yeah. Give all my there. disgusting mean dreams oh, are reality because I just love those guys. They're just they're somewhat. They're, one of my highlights of going to events is getting to meet those, like see those guys and just have a chat with them again because I just love them. They're such good people. The, 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 memes are the oh, chaos scold with five hundred biddies, dude. Thank you so much, dude. Genuinely, 
Yeah, do you know what? Let's let's celebrate with a with a with Straight a, to that a one. What have you got there? A Vimto. I have. Do you know what? Right, Vimto have rebranded. They well, not rebranded. They've changed the the like the picture and the design and stuff. And it's kind of it's 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 it's, it's different now, but it's cool. Mm, but so yeah, that's that's probably one of my cheapest costumes. Look at that! Um, Look at that! Nate the Chill Valhalla. <laughs> Try and get yourself a tier one sub, and then the Chaos Gold again with the five hundred biddies. That's a thousand biddies, my dude. He is, it just is making it rain. I'm not gonna lie. I like calling him biddies. It them biddies. I like to call him biddies. They're so cool. I think that's a cool name. <laughs> like him biddies. What is them that purple stuff? That is all the bits. That's what all that that purple stuff is. <laughs> all the bits. This is um, Vimto, but... by the way. I know what you're on about. This is Vimto, by the way. Um, it's uh, carbonated, like black currant grape and fruity. Fruity, yeah. Fruity it's like fruit. a fruity kind of, you know, tig old biddies. Yeah, chaos scored with a thousand <laughs> tig old biddies. Hell yeah, that's so good. I might use that. Oh, I might yeah. use that. I might use that. I might honestly, Nate. I might use that. But yeah. So, so, so yeah. that's the cheapest. That's the more cheapest. or less. I can't believe that goes as the cheapest. Honestly, it's I was I was sat in bed the other night trying to figure out how much money that cost me. And, that's actually um, that's actually mind blowing. There's two meters of spandex, two meters of power mesh, and about two meters of black and silver netting, and then just bits that I had around and beads. You know, there's beads I got from like um, the the clear ones I bought. Um, I actually picked up in Japan when we were on holiday one year. And they cost me 100 yen, which is about 70p. <laughs> so oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you can yeah, just stick you, all sorts of bits on it. You wandered off to Japan, didn't you? Uh, yeah, we've been three times. Wow. I think Mike wow. can confirm or deny that in you're the chat if he's still there. You're so lucky, my friend Brecken is in I the just, chat. He wants to go to Japan. I love it. The, the pandemic it's great. started. But there's a, um, oh, there's, a, there's a fabric district there. Um, and I got, this is one of my favorite things ever. Um, a really so cool. nice pair of scissors <laughs> oh, <laughs> from the wow. garment district and they're just like they make the nicest cutting sound it's uh, it's like pure heroin for your ears when you, uh, you cut fabric with it <laughs> some scissor ASMR snip <laughs> yeah no, they really are like, uh, but yeah that's that's one of the best things I've ever bought Yes. Hey, oh, scold man, a lot. What are you doing, my guy? Another 500 biddies. More damn biddies. Seriously, the itty bitty titty committee. Itty bitties. But these aren't itty bitties. These are a thousand bit. Oh, actually, hold on. The itty, the itty twitchy bitty committee from Diabolical Pro. <laughs> the chaos scold, though. Seriously, dude, thank you so, so much. Glorious. Nippon Steel folded 3,000 times yes. Ranger of Free cosplay. <laughs> I, I wish they were folded, but no, they, they're just, um, I think they're just, but they oh just, no, they don't even say, they're just they look stunning. real nice ones. They look stunning. Um, the fact they come in a, like a box like that and not just like shrink wrap from Tesco. Do, they, like the fact that do. it's a really They've beautiful. got their little presentation <laughs> box. <laughs> oh um, my God, it's even got the cut out for them. That's yeah. Really, that's yeah, beautiful. Real. How much did you say they cost you? Fancy. Um, I think... Mike bought me these actually. These are my Christmas present. Um, I think they're about forty pounds, that's, which I mean, for, that's not too bad. Hell no! For for what you have there is is, is mind blowing. But they're they're but, real nice. Um, but we so, don't have to ask. But you don't again. You don't have to say numbers if you don't want mm. to. If you're happy to say numbers, you're welcome to. What is the most expensive cosplay? Dun, dun. Like the, <laughs> here we go. It is cosplay that is not finished, and it has Ooh. not been finished for about three years, which is oh. my start on it. Um, I, I'm so ashamed of how much money I've spent on this because it's not finished. Don't um, be. And Trust it's, me. Um, Trust if you've me. ever been for a deep, deep, deep dive through my Instagram, there's a video of um, some wings I start making um, with some linear actuators, some open and shut electronic wings. Um, and I spent a lot of money on... Actually, the wings were the the main cost of the wings were the actuators. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're uh, they're expensive. Have you done two, or have you done a single with like the so two? The, the, you've done the two, okay. I'm yeah, sorry. it's two. Yeah, two big ones. Um, the pipe was nothing. My dad yeah. gave me that out of the back of his van. Um, and then the fabric because they're that wide. Um, there's about eight meters of fabric. Um, because I've got a front and a back, essentially. Um, 
But the thing is, in my infinite wisdom, I was like, I've never made a suit of armor before. I'm going to make a suit of armor. <laughs> and it was all warbler and stuff like that. And I've basically got the entire thing more or less finished. It's just fastenings that I'm done. And I put it all together Still. about a year and a half ago. And I was like, I hate this. It looks like shit. So oh. <laughs> I've just stopped at the minute and I will finish it. I think I'm going to go a different direction with it. I was originally going to make like a, it was going to be a Charizard. <gasps> no and it was way. going to be like a, a suit of armor. I've got the sword that I've got is you can't see, but it's like, it's fucking big. Yeah. Purely so I could put the remote control for the light, the uh, the wings in the handle. In the handle. So I could be like, so you could be like power of grace goal, and then the the Click. wings open. Yeah. Oh my um, god. Because I, I've got a fairly big hands, I can get away with like something with a big, a big grip on it. So that was the plan. Um, and I just when I put it all together, I was just I hate this so much. But I'd spent so much money, I must have bought like four sheets of warbler. Um just paint like it's all f more or less fully painted i just hate it i really hate it look the fact that um, you've been able to stand back and and be like i put all this work to it and i don't like it. i'm gonna make it better yeah. instead of just being like that'll do i that's yeah and you know i get oh by the way denver gamer thank you so much for coming really appreciate it awesome awesome not a problem at all um take care take care um Ah, oh, look at that. Ranger of Creed, more wings links. He's put in your links. links oh, links. he's doing the heavy lifting tonight. Ranger of Creed, my guy. <laughs> he's a he's a boy. He he's da boy. He is my boy. He is a, I absolutely love him. Top job. Um but do you there's see, do you see, so, oh, there so you go. Zubra, you need another hydrate. Oh, so, yeah, uh, yeah, this one. <laughs> there we go. So I've put a lot of time and money into that one yeah. um, and I hate it. And I think what the, I'm thinking, because I, I was looking at it the other day because I've got like a, a workshop space um, nearby where they are because um, they're too, they're literally too big to, I can't open them in my flat. They're that big. Um, and I was looking at them and I was thinking, what can I do with this? And I'm thinking I might make a leather jacket and make it like a, I think I might go a bit mystery dungeon, get a little neckerchief and a, oh, maybe like a rucksack as well. Or I don't know, maybe like a punk kind of idea with it. Something like that. But the fact, the fact that you've done the hard part, which is the wings. like. Do you know what? They were actually fairly easy. <laughs> were they really? Yes. What kind of weight are we talking? Are they quite hefty? Or are they... Heavy. Are they heavy? Heavy. Yeah. They are heavy. What kind of, what um, kind of battery are you running off for those then? Uh, 12 volt. It is a 12 volt. Is it like one of those blue packs yeah. with the cable, or is it one of the big ones? It's, um, I did have it in here. I don't know where I put it. Um, it's like a rechargeable battery that. pack. You charge off a, um, a cigarette lighter kind of sized thing. Um, uh, well, my, my friend, Phil, who helped me do the wiring, because I'm not very good at wiring, Fair. Um, he kind of soldered all the bits together for me. And he was like, oh, here's a battery pack. This will work in it. So that Velcro's in the middle, plug goes in, and that powers the oh, that powers that's, the that's wings. It. Also, earlier, by the way, um, an uh, Arab Arab list Arab list says that's hi, Phil. Amy. Says hi, Amy. <laughs> Sorry, I missed, I, I, I missed that earlier. I've also missed um, I, I've also missed some other questions and stuff here as well. Um, I, I missed this one from Denver Gamer. Um, so, what's the hardest cosplay in terms of getting into? I'm hmm. Probably, I think I have a guess about. It might be Go. Is it Goza or is Gozi pretty easy? Do you know what? I'm not really sure. It's it's Goza is the most uncomfortable one to wear because um, the boots are massive. Um, oh, so wow. it's, oh yeah, I forgot about the it's, boots. It's the most uncomfortable I forgot thing to about wear. The boots. So there's a big old platform on there as well. Um, so. It's the most uncomfortable to wear. It's not the hardest to get into. Um, probably this Princess Mononoke one that I made, my newer one. That's are you on, are you able to um, are you able to Instagram. pick up the head? And yeah. Show us that? If you want to show us, that would be so cool. Because I, I was going to say because my 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 webcam's from I don't know 2008, so it's pretty bad. Hey, 2008. That's 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 you know back in the, the vintage the good, year. The, the vintage year, like the good times. But... Um. <laughs> 
so like this this new version that I made of it um, was based on an illustration by an artist called Sunset Dragon, who I really love. Such like cool I've made Sunset Dragon. this is one of her designs. I've got my magical girl Jolty on behind me. That's one of her designs. Um, but this has just got a lot of layers to it. Um, you know, there's a corseted belt, there's a bodysuit, there's a cape, there's the wig and there's the antlers, there's bits that wrap around my hands, around my arms, around my legs. And then I've got to put the boots on and it's just, it's a lot. There's so just is, a lot of layers to it. Is that the hardest, would you say then? Because It's probably the hardest to get on. Get on. Well, just because it's just, just so is, many is, different bits. It's like getting off just... <laughs> oh yeah, I don't give a shit after that. I'll just <laughs> fair, fair. Also, um, Arblist, thank you so much for the follow. I hope I'm saying your name right. It's A R B List. It's Arblist. I'm gonna say Arblist. A I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm so bad. Also, um, oh yeah, that's a good one. Weetobix, can you do the Goza voice? No. Goza. Like I um, yeah, honestly. Yeah. Um. Oh, I love. No, it. I I, love I it. sound too awkward. Um. <laughs> I've got a pretty low voice. This is this is me talking in like a higher register than normal. Um, I've got quite a low voice. Um, you, can, you can relax your voice if you want. Like I, I'm not like on stream. I, on, I'm on stream, too I, I talk a bit. I talk a bit like higher pitched on stream as well. Normally, normally I'd be like, "Hey, how you doing? You're right there. That's very good." <laughs> And that's basically my voice. Like that. But it's some some people will just be like, I can't hear you, it's too low. <laughs> so I just I, I talk at like a higher pitch like that. So I can I, I don't particularly like my voice and I don't like hearing it. because uh, obviously everybody's voice sounds weird when you, you hear it back yourself. Um, but when I did that BBC three video um, a couple of years ago, um, that a lot of people have seen, I listened to it and I was like, Oh god, <laughs> is that what I sound like? We We've got a situation happening again. I do apologize. I keep having to interrupt you. Are we on a hype train? Really sorry. This is getting insane. This is getting absolutely insane. Kenneth's cosplay has just gifted five tier one subs to the community. Genuinely. Is he back? Throw back up again. his link. Throw up Kenneth's cosplay's links. Also, uh, Kenneth's cosplay's Instagram is there. And also the Instagram to your Mononoke is there as well. Ranger of Creed, oh. my guy. Um, let's have a look. Zug redeemed our hydrate. I did, I did not see that. I don't think we did, but I, I just, honestly, mine, How mine, hydrate. mine, 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 such a good one. Mine? <laughs> Seriously, Kenneth's cosplay, absolute mad lad. Mad lad. <laughs> absolute mad lad. Ten, tonight's stream is just blowing up. It is crazy. It is absolutely nuts. I need to actually check the, um... 64 subs! Holy crap! E. By the way, since since there are so many new members of the Warrior Cosplay subscriber side of things, if you guys are subscribers or have been gifted a sub, if you head over to my Discord and make sure that you link your Discord up with your Twitch account, it's super easy to do. It's just a few clicks to link them both together. When you jump onto my Discord, you will unlock a subscriber-only channel where I have a specific section for first-time posts. So if I get something new, if I have a new idea or a new cosplay or, new, or something brand new that I'm doing and I'm actually genuinely planning on doing it and I, I literally have like bought parts for it or I am starting to do it and everything, I will post it there because I want you guys to know first. As a genuine thanks for like being subscribers or just like you know having having you on the discord so you guys can see what i'm doing i also have um like i ask questions to see what you guys think and i also have exclusive um like twitch things that happen for example for those of you who don't know i'm doing a, a new series coming up i'm testing it twice uh april 8th and april 22nd called uh, Iron Warrior Cosplay presents The Joy of Chaos, which is a painting stream where I get a bunch of really lovely guests on to banter and chat and paint models or paint cosplay props, whatever you guys want. We do that kind of stuff. It is a lot of fun. The Chaos Scold with a thousand biddies continuing. Yeah. A thousand biddies. Chaos Scold. Get them biddies in. Them biddies are coming in. But if you guys want to jump onto my Discord and see that, there's exclusive stuff there for you. Also, I'm hoping, I mean, we're, we're already there. I wanted to get to 50 subs before I was going to do this, but we reached 50 subs last stream, 52 in fact. 
we're getting there. I want to start doing a Twitch, um, like a subscriber specific, like like Twitch subscriber only stuff, where we'll do like instead of like a specific series, like for example, the Joy of Chaos, we can do like Twitch hangout streams or something or something cool like that. Um, I'm gonna carry on while the wonderful uh, <laughs> the wonderful Bermudas have to go and get the kitty. Um, you got the kitty, <laughs> Lynette Cosplay. I don't know if you can hear him crying in the background, so I just thought I'd go get him. Lynette Cosplay has just raided us with a party of five. Lynette Cosplay, welcome, Hi guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my God, Cat Ranger Tats. Creek. Let's get a shout out for the wonderful Lynette Cosplay. Oh my God, right. Hello, so everyone. So for those of you who have just joined, we have the lovely Bermuda Rhombus and her lovely little kitty, uh, Haku. I have written it down because I, yeah. I knew I was going to forget, so I wrote <laughs> it down just in case. Um, honestly, thank you so much for raiding. Uh, for those of you who uh, are new here, I'm Iron Warrior Cosplay. This is my Twitch channel. This is the Iron Warrior Cosplay live stream. Or more specifically, this segment is called the Iron Warrior Cosplay Q&A. And my guest tonight is Bermuda Rhombus. And... Uh, she has a, a bunch of links, actually. Uh, if uh, my mod, I'm really sorry. Harry's working like <laughs> overtime tonight. If Harry could post uh, Ber Bermuda's uh, links in the chat there. We are talking everything cosplay. It is absolutely awesome. We're talking about her, more specifically, her cosplay life and what she has been doing over the years. Um, starting from like, you know, your very first cosplay win to your current set of cosplays, which is absolutely insane. Honestly... Thank you so much for that, and welcome to everyone who has just joined us. If you are not a, sub uh, a follower even, please follow. I was about to say subscriber, because we have been getting gifted subs like crazy. The bits are raining, the subs are coming in. It's madness. It's madness. Oh, it's so, absolutely crazy. So where were we? <laughs> well, i tell you where we were, right? Kenneth Cosplay just redeemed a hydrate. So let's do that, because I'm absolutely parched from all I'll this. hydrate. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Honestly, this has been the maddest stream. Nocturne Robin, thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. Jochen Vaur, thank you, Lynette Cosplay. Oh, it is... So we've gone through, like, cheapest, most expensive. Yeah, yeah. This is madness sorry about it i know i do you know what? i don't want the thing is i don't i feel bad if i apologize because it's such a nice wholesome <laughs> thing that's happening and i just like i love it but i feel everyone's welcome i feel bad interrupting your lovely self while you're chatting about all right what is this is a two-sided coin this is this is this is a two-sided coin okay what is your favorite part of cosplay i just like making things i just i'm i'm I can't relax. I can't do <laughs> Amen. Amen. much to much to Mike's annoyance. I can't <laughs> just sit and do nothing. I have to be doing something. Like I'm always fidgeting, or I'm playing on my phone, or I'm playing on my switch, or I'm stood in the kitchen doing something, or I want to make something. And when I when I'm really on something, I like hyper fixate on it. I'll be like, nothing exists in the world other than like this one specific thing that I'm making, and it has to be done right now. <laughs> So I just I just like making things. It's like it's a good outlet for you absolutely. Know, like everything. we've got people in the chat and Nate is saying I can't relax is a big mood. <laughs> like, it is. Big it's mood. an absolute mood. I just I oh. can't I somebody I said to someone earlier, oh uh, you know, all my plans for Easter have been cancelled. I don't know what to do. And he's like, just relax. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> what? I don't think you understand. Oh, good God. First, um, what you call it? First uh, lockdown, lockdown one. Yeah. Before lockdown two, electric boogaloo. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I was a, I was an absolute idiot. And I was mm. like, I'm going to take all my remaining, like not all of it, but I was going to take a good chunk of my 10 mil and just do some stuff that I've been mm. planning, but was like, yeah. I'll do them eventually. And, inst and I just went for it. I built a chainsaw within mm. like four or five days or something like that i built a power hammer in a couple of days and then what i had left over from the chainsaw or the spare foam i made this little like mini <laughs> one-handed chain axe little mace because thing. and i did those three props in two weeks burnt myself out like uh, well, I, I made out. i made this one uh first in lockdown and then this one i kind of started before it all went to shit um but i finished that during 
during lockdown. That's really pretty, by the so way. It's, um, I, I mean, it's, it's re- actually, it's really cute, to be fair. It is. It really there we go. Is. The, really the petty car in it is massive. Um, How big did you say that was? It takes up your entire kitchen floor. Like, so my, I have a very small kitchen, so <laughs> yeah, but still. it sounds like I'm being dramatic, but I have a very small kitchen. Um, it's... If you kind of if you unpick the entire thing and put it out in one long row, um, it's thirty meters long. Holy! It's, there's that much in it. Wow. I mean, it's only like you know that wide, oh. but it's a good thirty meters end to end. Can we you hear can, that cat? We crying? can hear the cat. <laughs> oh my god! Also, he's crying Rachel, like Rachel no one's Creek, ever. You mad lad! He is posting <laughs> all the links. That is absolutely awesome. Also, uh, Kitty Assistance. He's posted a link and he says, Kitty Assistance, do you have a picture of you with like the cats helping you out? Pigthorn yes, takes Yes, I notes. do. I love that. I, I do. There's still do some you... highlights of him on do... my Instagram as well. Do you want to go? But he's... Everyone's like, Kitty cry, Cato cry. Oh, no. <laughs> do you want me to go get do him? Do you want to go get a kitty? Because <laughs> he's just he's just. This crying. is the best stream. Okay. There's a cat on it. Oh, my God. There's a cat here. It's insane. I love cats, honestly. This is madness. Hug that cat. It's breaking my heart. I'm dying. He's 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 purring like he's really happy with himself. It's just like, <laughs> ah, I have tension. meowed and now I am being looked after. I love this is that. it. Like he can't go now. So By gonna... the way, this is great, and I've just seen this. Diabolical props. If Iron Warrior cosplay hits 400 <laughs> followers this stream, I'll name my bandsaw after him. <laughs> oh. That's going to be so cool. Oh, my God. How many followers am I at? I can't check. I can't check. Someone tell me how many followers I'm at. I can't check. I can check everything else in terms of the stream, but I can't tell I can't tell how many subscribers I have. Uh, sorry, followers. Damn it. I've got subscribers at the top. I can't tell how many followers I've got. Kenneth Cosby with 100 bits. Randomly out of the blue. A little corgi. A little corgo. Look at the little corgo. Uh, absolutely. We need four. We need four more. Have some bits. Kenneth Cosplay. You're so amazing. Holy crap. We need four more followers. Ow, so <laughs> close. Come on, we can do I it. Need my, I need this banter to be named after me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, but, so, yeah, like, that's, that's so the, the, the thing I like the most part. is I just yeah, like making absolutely. things. And then, obviously, obviously, let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can do this. I'm not going to lie. This stream has been... <laughs> Madness. There you go. The other side of the coin. Look at that. That was so fancy. Um, what is your least? I'll do this in a deeper way. What is your least favorite part of cosplay? <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think. I think like every hobby, it's got like it's 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 ooh, it's it's like aspects like aren't yeah. so fun. I mean, like getting undressed at the end of the day <laughs> the and, like your head hurts because you've been wearing a wig all day Aww. that kind of thing um and that kind of sucks but um <laughs> everyone in chat's laughing currently because of the cat i am here I, can, I, I, am list, I am listening to you but look at it i what do you know what Loser. right I, I i sad news but obviously this was a while ago this was a while ago, but I'm still, you know, it's horrible. I lost my cat Gizmo. She died. Oh, no, she's so and, I, and it was like the saddest day of my life. Like, it was so horrible. I hated it. But I've been wanting another cat so bad. <laughs> like, especially you during can, lockdown. You when lockdown started. Well, like, lockdown started, I was like, I'm, I can get a cat. It's lockdown. I'll be home all the time. I can get a cat. I want a cat. <laughs> oh, shit. Get a cat. Yeah. You can oh, come, so come take this one, this little goblin from me. <laughs> I wish the goblin king would come and take you away. Honestly, honestly. <laughs> I'm just wondering, but, why can't I, we see donations pop up on screen, by the way? Uh, are they uh, are they not popping up on screen? Are they, um, are they not popping up on stream? If When, when someone subscribes and stuff, are people uh, not able to see them, just so I know they should be popping up on stream? Uh, at least I've been seeing them here, and the music's been playing. Let me know if you guys can't see, like, like hold on, I'll, I'll replay... Wait, hold on, I'll replay one of the... Hey, I'll replay Kenneth's cosplay's 100 bits. Let me know if you guys can see and hear that. If you guys can see and hear that, let me know. Um, no, I just donated and you can't see it. Oh, wait, hold on. Did you did you donate? Instead of using bits and stuff, did you go to the donate button? Because if you have, that should have popped up. But if it hasn't, I will check why that hasn't there should be one for that holy crap thank you so much for donating like i really appreciate that but you can't write thank you so much i will i will check your donation after stream but that should have come up 
So I will check that out the stream. <gasps> I will. Sorry, the cat's distracting me. <laughs> I'm I just will, trying to keep my I will check that, right? Because uh, I will check that after stream. I do apologize that it hasn't come up. I'm kind of gutted that it hasn't because I think that's the first donation, not through uh, bits or subscriptions that I've had. So I appreciate that so much, but. I don't know why I didn't come up stream, so I'm really sorry about that. I will check that after stream, and I will test it tonight. I will test it tonight because that needs to that needs to happen. Um, the the notification needs to come up for that. So I do apologize for that, but I really appreciate it. Thank you so so much. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, as you said, with every sort of everything, really, there's always a downside. There's always a downside. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't really know. Like, there's things I don't like about it which is like i think like the come down afterwards if you've been kind of hyping yourself up for an event or you know like you're like yeah i'm gonna go see my friends yeah. and then afterwards you're like ah, i i'm a potato i get <laughs> i i feel you so much right now because i because you know obviously you know that you know a bunch of the events and stuff that i um that i attend uh, mm -hmm. like I, I cosplay guests at a lot of events and stuff uh, big events like Sci-Fi Weekender, for example, you go there, you get to see all your friends again. There's drinking; it's amazing. It's a big party. It's like a four-day event of nothing but partying, drinking, and having fun on an enclosed holiday site, and it's amazing. Yeah. And then you drive home, and it's all you're still buzzing from it. It's still amazing. You unpack the van, you get everything put away, you go upstairs, you sit down in your chair, and you just think, "Oh crap, that I'm." Mm. Wait Monday time. rolls around. Monday you go to work, around, and, then you've got and to wait nobody gives a shit who you are anymore. And you, that's to, that's that's the reality and it's just super super meh and it, it kills you like like um ranger of creed cosplay and i for example we'll go to an event we'll have so much fun over a weekend we'll get in my van we'll drive back we'll have a good laugh we'll eat some kfc or kgb or something on the way home we'll have some food <laughs> and you we, eat the kgb <laughs> Yeah, we, we call KFC KGB. It's just our little thing. Because there's a really funny picture on the internet of a KFC, but it's KGB and it's got different logos and stuff. It's fucking hilarious. I'll, I'll send it to you after stream. I'll send it to you after stream. It it's so funny. So me and Harry are like, do you want some KGB comrades? It's like, I would like some KGB comrades. So we go to KFC and get some food. But then there's always Amazing. that, like, when it gets a bit darker and we're almost back to, like, his drop-off point. And it's like... Oh man, you know. I don't want it to end. I don't want it to end, you know, especially when you see everyone. Good night, Kenneth Cosplay. Thank you so much. Now I have to go to bed. I have to wake up early. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Also, because uh, I have seen that. Thank you so much. I will. Uh, by the way, take a look in the Iron Cage Discord. Oh, okay. By the way, take a look in the Iron Cage Discord. I will. That's interesting. That's interesting. Oh my god, you guys have been. So amazing tonight. Not saying you're not amazing every other night, but tonight has been something just mind-blowing tonight. Like, it has been mind-blowing. I don't think I've ever gone through questions this slowly before. I was going to say, we're, we're not we're not doing very well on the questions. We're, going, we're doing I mean, some good tangents. It's not too bad. There are good tangents, but I'm enjoying this nonetheless. I'm enjoying good. this nonetheless. Um, right, let's have a look. Okay, and then... Um, Let's have a look now. Lynette Cosplay. All floof goblins should be necessary in the workshop, especially as assistants and supervisors. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you want to see me in person, feel free to visit me on Twitch. Absolutely. Kenneth Cosplay. Seriously. Um, g give Kenneth Cosplay uh, an SO shout out, uh, if you will, Range of Creed Cosplay. That'd be absolutely awesome of you. Thank you so much. Look at that. He's already done it. He's so quick. He's on the ball. He's, He's on the ball. Right. I can. I, that, all I imagine when when he's modding for me is him sat back in his chair with his keyboard and like multiple screens. He's <laughs> got the command center set like up. He is Mr. Center. Universe. I love that. Wito, Wito Big's bath is getting cold. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, honestly, this one now uh, is. This one's the one that's like the one that's in black on my board. Like this is the one that I buy high. Like thing is, I say highlighted in black. People, you can't highlight in black. But like every other one is grey. This one's with black, it. thick pen, and it's it. there. Bold. And it's like this is bold. That's the one. That's the word bold. I keep forgetting. I keep saying highlighted, but um, but it's uh, it's a bold question, and it's the question I ask uh, a lot of people, which is, what is cosplay to you, like specifically to you, because. There's a lot yeah. of people out there who are like, you know, I, I use it to escape reality or I, 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 I'm different when I'm in cosplay. Like I'm by, by day, I'm sort of a, quite anxious and quiet. And then 
mm. when it comes to a cosplay event on the weekend, I am Deadpool and you cannot stop me from humping this tree kind of thing. <laughs> you know that kind of thing where once they put a yeah. mask on or a helmet on, yeah. they're just bam, and then everything washes away and you become someone completely different. Like, uh, that's to be fair, that was a pretty good that's a pretty good description. Um it's for me it's just a good it's a good creative outlet for kind of my nervous energy i guess um it gives me something to fixate on which is delightful um and you know i think a lot of things that i do are quite over the top in terms of makeup or um gratuitous leg (laughs) (laughs) gratuitous leg (laughs) <laughs> yeah you know i like you know i like my lycra oh absolutely I, you I know i'll get my legs out i don't mind and i think for me um like i spend 99 percent of my time in just a t-shirt some jeans i don't wear makeup generally i've made an effort and i've drawn my eyebrows on tonight but usually not that bothered um i'm honored and it's I am absolutely honored <laughs> i did it for you also um, Meg- megan mustache thank you so much for the follow really appreciate it megan <laughs> Mustache. <laughs> Megan Mustache. That's a brilliant name. That is the best name. That's so many good ones. Gr- and <laughs> I work I on think... the hashtag gratuitous leg is now is now trending. There you go. <clears throat> um, gratu- it's all about the gratuitous diet. Um, I think for me, it's kind of like it's like a hyper femininity kind of expression. You know, like it's like my version of drag in the way that I'm dressing up as. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I get kind it. of a more exaggerated, um, sexual is the wrong word, but a more exaggerated, like, feminine form. Well, I mean, um, think, I mean, Goza, though, I mean, Goza, It's though, fairly I mean, androgynous, and I'm, I'm yeah. really enjoying it. Yeah, I, 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 I like that. Cause I like, like the, it, it's just really interesting. Mm. Um, but, yeah, it's, I think that's kind of what I'm going, what I like. Um, the most is kind of it allows that kind of play for kind of how people see me because it's very different to how I usually am and like I never really had particularly girly jobs either so like I'll show people that I've worked with stuff that I've met and they're like holy shit is that you <laughs> like, that, I like, that. like that's not you like that's not what you look like um because most of the time I'm I'm covered in like metal swarf or um oh hell yeah bits of wood um you know that's the way that's the way <laughs> that that kind of thing like my hands at the minute are just like in pieces from like just being cut by bits jack. of metal at work um so you know it's it's nice to have that kind of hyper feminine inside where it's not out of place in a day-to-day kind of sense i guess i don't know but i i I, I understand what you mean. Like I get yeah. I get what you mean, but it's still it's still cool to see that though because I've met you in and out of cosplay, mm. so it is cool to see how God when you're Goza though, like when mm. you when you when you are suited up as Goza. Oh, I, oh, I commit so, to it. I commit to that. But like I I love the fact that when you were suited up as Goza, when 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 people just walking by and people are like oh that's cool whenever they walk by, we were all just talking. We were Ghostbusters with the pack mm. going. You were there. We were just chatting and stuff like that. As soon as someone comes up, like, excuse me, can I have a photo? You 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 were already back in position, ready to go before we were like yeah hold on, we've got to get all our gadgets and stuff. Out. I'm just like hold on, let me just get rid of it. and you you were just ready. And but God, the way you portray the character is basically how it is in the movie there's no much it's genuinely the like the the detail you've gone into as well with the fact that you wear the red contacts and stuff which people know are not comfortable to wear all the time like especially from i don't mind them do you not do mind know, it doesn't bother me That's the thing nice. is this is the other thing as well not a lot of people realize that people that don't know me like as a like in my real kind of you know as i yeah, am yeah um a lot of people don't realise that AI wear glasses and B I have brown hair. Um, <laughs> because I've usually got a wig on or something and I never wear glasses. Obviously when I'm cosplaying because there's no room for it. Um I also don't wear contact lenses either, so I can't really see too far <laughs> when I'm at shows. So like if I take my glasses off, I can I can just about read your name on my you know where it says like I'm oh, right, oh, right, right, right at the bottom. Not, not, not this. I one. can just yeah, I can see that. That's fine. <laughs> but um, 
I could just about read the little bit. So, oh, like, wow. stuff far away, well, not so luckily good. Luckily, then, in that if, if you're literally set. talking to me in front of me, I can see you fine. But other than that, you you yeah. only have like that small goes a bit though when you are goes. So you can't go that far anyway, which is quite good, mm. I guess. But if I love it, but I'm not gonna lie to you, I need to see Goza wearing your glasses now. Like, that would be too funny. Like, can you imagine you full Goza, but like, hold on, let me just. Oh, it's the Ghostbusters! I'm. Just... Can you imagine? <laughs> oh <my laughs> if I if I'm going to a convention that I'm not uh, at a hotel for, I'll like usually at the NEC. I um, Insomnia, which is where I'd usually be. Yeah. Easter. Um, Insomnia. I would stay there. Um, but general conventions, I usually drive in every day. So I'll get dressed here, and then I'll get in the car in full costume, with my glasses on, <laughs> try, drive down the motorway. Not in, and your then heels. I'll get out. Not in your heels, I guess. No, I wear <laughs> trainers up until I get to the, the, the halls. Goza and then I in shoes. trainers. And yeah, I've done that. Driving. <laughs> this is the single greatest thing I've ever heard. Uh, with the Goza one, because the hands are covered. Um, if I go anywhere in it as well because it's got the baubles are all on the back as well so you can't actually sit back in it or you know sit down to it. i didn't put any on my ass which is a good <laughs> idea on my part so i can actually sit down in it but i can't lean back because they're on the back so if i'm wearing that to a convention i've got my hair my face and everything done um, but i've only got it pulled up just to my waist and i'll have like a hoodie I on the top i got you so can then you when i get i just take over. the hoodie off can you imagine getting uh, pulled up <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm waiting for it. That would I'm be really wait. One Although, day. I, I've wanted... I've, I, w I thought I was getting pulled over, but it was a police car just overtaking and passing us on the dual character. Mm. But I was in my full Ghostbusters kit. And at the time, I didn't have the case. I had the proton pack next to me on the seat with the seatbelt <laughs> over it. This was back before Amazing. I got the big safety case for it. And I'm driving on thinking, if I got pulled over, if I got... Where are you going? Oh, to a call. Like, what do you mean? It's, like, oh, it's a ghost and command. Ghosts. <laughs> that kind of thing. Oh, ghost. Have you been drinking, sir? No. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> but, like, this is madness. Also, I, I'm loving this. By the way, uh, Alt Kitty, thank you so much for the follow. Warlock, thank you so much for the follow. We just gave the follows in, like, second after second. But also, the Chaos Scald once again with the 500 bits and another follower. This is madness. Matt. That deserves Matt, a cat, so I'll go get him. Matt, Cath Matt Cathon, 33. I'm really bad at this. Uh, honestly, thank you so much, I Matt. And comic, what is comically weird? Where, where are you? Where is everyone coming from? One, two, three. Kitties for the kitty. We've, we've just had four people, just one after the other. Where are you guys coming from? Who's who's sending you? Where are you coming from? Oh my God, the bandsaw has a name. Ah, this is awesome. They were sent by by the Nate. Nate, dude. Nate the Chill Valhallen. Bruh. This is so wholesome. Oh, the cat's back. Oh, everyone, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Yeah, there we go. The cat's back. You give, you give the bitties, you get the kitties. Thank you so much to everyone who has just followed. Nate the Chill Valhalla has just delivered massively. Dude, I had no idea. I genuinely appreciate it. Thank you so much. The bandsaw has been named and Chaos Scald has just donated another 500 bits. Dude, this is... Guys, you are spoiling me something this and i love it and i cannot I thank you all enough we have another rachel's headspace rachel's headspace i'm in rachel's headspace right now i'm in rachel's headspace and it's just huh. i can see everything yeah i'm in there you yeah see, you, um, you uh, yeah i'm in there as well it's pretty cool in there rachel yeah. your headspace is pretty cool it's warm it's pretty, pretty cool it's warm and fuzzy warm. like the kitty um, like kitty. how do you view yourself as a cosplayer um mediocre I think is a word, I, you know, <laughs> mediocre. No. I'm not in any kind of upper echelon. Of, no, no. Um, right. Do you know what this? I think no to is, notoriety. No, I think this is the one time I'm gonna be like, no, nope, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. Okay. You are far, far Please, higher tell me up more. the tier. You are tell me far more. up the tier. Seriously though, honestly, the cosplays I've seen you done. By the way, the jolty on you wore on BBC. Was it BBC Three or Four? Uh, BBC Three. BBC Three. That one. If you go to if you go, if you go to to her Instagram, there are clips from that on your Instagram, aren't there? Yes. And there's a good um. There's so a good compilation good. of like about nine faces. Where I'm like, so so good, so so good. Honestly, I had um, diabolical. But you can you can find that. 
you can find that video if you um, just search uh, things not to say cosplayers BBC Three. It'll pop things up. Not there's to say cosplayers. I like that. I like. There's that. there's there's me as Jolteon. Uh, there's my good friend Helen. Um, is the Bulbasaur in that? Um, Your cat. And I also know Archie and Aiden, who are also in it. They're really cool people. Um, <laughs> I think we're going to die. Honestly, um, if this has a, oh my god, we've been going for almost two hours. Honestly, this is madness. Thank you so much. For there's being been honest. so many hydrates. You have no idea how much I need to pee. <clears throat> oh my god, I am so sorry. Um, <laughs> do you know what? Right, I will ask you a few more questions. Um, since we've been going for so long, I think we can just we can just carry on here for a little bit, and then I'll I'll let you go pee, and we'll, yeah, let, the cat, we'll let the cat continue to do its thing. <laughs> Caxor being a being an absolute legend, knowing that you have to pee has redeemed hydrate. Oh no! So I love uh, hydrate. I love that Ranger of Creek BBC thingy. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Also, genuinely, <laughs> Nate the Chill Valhalla, you're an absolute legend. Nate said I had diabolical D and D thoughts. That's concerning. Um, <laughs> diab diabolical pops. Explanation I've had is it's dove and uh, the bird. <laughs> Oh, dove like the bird and then rig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dove, as in like the white dove and then rig. That's how you say my name is dove rig, but it's spelled because uh, one F in Welsh is pronounced as a V sound. So that's oh, how I yeah. yeah, exactly. There we go. Learning Welsh. But yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Look at this. This is madness. Also, I love this. Ranger Creek just said in the uh, in the stream channel chat. He just said, Nate, he has summoned the bannermen. <laughs> Absolute mad lad. Absolute mad lad. Diabolical props and Bermuda, what is your outlook on mistakes in regards to cosplays? Is there anything you'd have done differently? Oh, all the time. Um, literally yeah. everything that, that ever gets made is like, uh, is what, <laughs> oh, I've got cat hair everywhere. Um, it's, it's one learning curve after another. Like every time I make a costume, when it's finished, I go, okay, I know what I'd do differently next time. You know, or you know halfway through it oh this doesn't work let's remake it like um i started making uh jareth's ballroom costume from the labyrinth um which is just it's it's in front of me basically and i've got the top half of the jacket sleeves lining everything um but the sleeves are too small oh. and i'm like hmm brilliant okay so i've got to take it all apart um, and remake the sleeves on it because my hands are too big to go through the holes. Is that an easy fix then? No. No? Is it not an easy fix? No. No? Fair enough. Fair because enough. I'd uh, already put the cuffs on it, oh, sewed it into oh. the rest of the jacket, done basically the whole thing. So I've got to take the entire sleeves out, remake them completely, fair. and the cuffs. Fair. But I'm not gonna lie. You're, you live, you're, you learn. Your cat is currently fucking shit up in the background. I can hear. It's, it's... Yeah, I don't know where he's gone now. But <laughs> also, he's just, oh, thirty he's viewers, a nightmare. guys. Seriously, this is amazing. Hi guys. Mike the Wizard nineteen has followed as well. Sorry, Mike. I missed that one. Mike the Wizard nineteen. I feel like I feel you and Mike are on the same wavelength as people. I think the two of you, if you ever got together, you'd just you'd be best buddies in no time. Mike, my guy. Let's be let's be friends. Let's be friends. I, I love Mike. I've known Mike for <clears throat> a long, long time. We've been in a band together. <sighs> We've done all sorts of weird things together. I love him to pieces. Our bliss just put yo Mike! <laughs> Our <laughs> bliss is a tier one sub as well. Zug! What are you doing? Zug, dude! Zug has just gifted another five tier one subs to the channel. Seriously, Zug! Seriously, there's, I don't know what else to do. I can't give him anything else. Oh my god. Do you know what, Zug? Zug, you, know what? you will be the reason I need to pee tonight. Do you know what, Zug? I, th I, think, I think with the amount of subs Zug has gifted, it's getting insane now. I'm going to I'm gonna have to sort something out for Zug. I'm going to have to sort something out for you, Zug. Dude, seriously, I'll be calling you at some point. I'm going to sort something out for you. That is send him a seal. Madness. I'm going to send him more than for you. So, actually, no, you know, I will send you a seal. I will send you a seal as well. There you go. There's a seal. I'll send you that as well. That's going to be awesome. That is, dude, seriously, I cannot thank you. Mike is my hero. Arbalist says Mike is my hero. Mike the Wizard 19. Phil! Everyone's so happy. Oh, my God. Mike, I love you. M Everyone's Mike, here Mike, tonight. Mike, Mike and Arbalist, thank you. Ginny, awesome, awesome. All of you. All of you. All of you are awesome. There, there are so many people in the chat right now. 
This is absolutely fantastic. For those of you who have just joined, I'm Iron Warrior Cosplay. This is the Iron Warrior Cosplay q and I do different live streams every uh, Tuesday and Thursday at 8pm GMT. And this is my lovely Q&A guest for tonight, uh, Bermuda Rhombus, who is <laughs> suffering so much right now with the fact that we have to stop <laughs> a bunch of times to, <laughs> to, um, to, to do uh, subject stuff. I don't mind, trust me. And I don't think you mind okay. either. I don't. No. <laughs> Okay, at least, fun. at least, I hope you don't. If you do, I do apologize. Um, no, I tell fine. you what, though, I tell you what, though, um, Amy, do you want to mm -hmm. know? Do you want to know how many subs I'm on currently? The holiest of numbers. Tell me. Sixty-nine. <laughs> we are on sixty-nine <laughs> subscribers. This is absolutely mad. You guys are, Amazing. you guys are legendary, but also uh, nice. <laughs> Chaos gold, no more subs allowed. <laughs> That's it. It's like, like you can't have any more now. You've topped out. Like clicks, nice. <laughs> I love that. Right? Do you know what? Right? Do you know what? This is this has been absolutely fantastic. Um, do you want? Do do? Would you like me to go through the rest of the questions, or would you like yes, me to get? Yes, come on, let's go. Let's, yeah? let's quick fire the rest of the questions. Yeah, let's quick fire the rest of the questions. Let's quick fire the rest of the questions. Right? Okay, here we go. Where are we? Okay, right. Uh, what would your advice be to somebody who is just starting off? Someone who's just getting into the whole cosplay side of things. <laughs> I love the laugh. You were just like, oh, Christ. <laughs> your first costume will be awful, and that's okay. Amen. Same here. Yeah, I, I Because yeah. nobody, <clears throat> nobody's born good at this. I think um, as a hobby, you've got to think of why you're going into it. Um, I think some people see it online that, as like, oh, look at all these people, look how much money they make for making things and, you know, going to things. But you've got to step back and realise that people that are making the money, like the real money in this game, have been doing it literally for the last decade. Yeah, absolutely. You know, absolutely. they're going on the ground floor of this. I mean, if, if your only ambition with it is to be um, famous or, you know, whatever way that means to you, it's probably not the best reason to do it, but at the end of the day, if you're enjoying yourself, who cares? Like, just have fun with it. But, yeah. but genuinely, if you're making stuff, your first costume will be shit, and that's just a fact. Everybody <laughs> knows it. And you'll you will all you will learn so much. My first costume was made from um, a leotard. <laughs> I want to tell you how bad this was. Oh, so we covered God. it earlier. It was um, it was Rogue from X Men Evolution. The year's two thousand and six. Back in the before times, me as a naive 15-year-old, um, I've gotten a black leotard, um, some black leotard leggings, fused the two together, which I wore the one on top of the other. And then for the green part on the top, I had an old green t-shirt that I didn't, I think there was like a bleach stain or something on it. So I just cut that up, hand sewed that to the front badly because my hand sewing's awful. And the little kind of shoulder pads were made out of, um, you know, the the kind of foil backed bubble wrap stuff you used to get behind your radiator, that kind of stuff. You know, you know that. Do you, oh, it's got like it's it's tiny squares. There's loads of squares in it. The pattern is like square. No, this this stuff was like bubble wrap, but it was really rigid. Oh yeah, yeah, and it's it's almost like it's got it's it's a bit foamy though, isn't it? There's a little bit of give. To a little bit. Yeah. Um, um, do you want to know what's really funny about that stuff? I I just have to mention this super quick. It's what I've got between my arm joints on my space. Amazing. Screen. That's what that's that's what that stuff is. Because I was gonna put the tubes, but they keep catching your skin and stuff. So mm. I just put that stuff, and it's super soft. So it's just like I so. So I'd, I'd made them kind of folded and cut them to make these like shoulder pad shapes and they were covered in like a sticky back plastic because that's all I had to hand. Um, the same with like the, sh the shin armor things and I just put those over the top of I had some like army boots because I was I was 15 and edgy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so so I, had a, I had a goth phase and it was oh, awful. So did I. So did I, we yeah. all had, you didn't grow out of yours though, did you? I'm not gonna lie, I kind of didn't, but I kind of did. Like for example, my hair was like halfway down my back. I had long hair. Oh, no. down, like, it was. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really suit long hair. At the time, I was a rebel. I, was a rebel. I, but, I dyed no, I my black hair black. black. I wear black. All I dyed my hair black, and it did not suit me at all. Um, I had awful, awful acne as a teenager, so I always had like horrible red face, black hair, and I I looked so bad, so bad. Um, my cringe glands hurt just recalling how bad I looked. Um, but so I've got, you know, this this costume made up of kind of stuff that I had kind of hanging around. I've kind of mishmashed together, um, and it 
it was a good like five meter costume from like five meters. It didn't look too bad, but any closer than that, you could see how bad it was. It, it's, um, the, it's the six me- It's the six foot rule, isn't it? It's usually what they call it. The oh no, people. this is good. This is six meters. Is this is how good bad six- it was. And I was so proud of it. And I wore that to. Um, I I played uh, one of the first bands I was in when I was um, teenager. I wore that to our Halloween gig that we did. Um, I wore it to that comic book convention that I won the competition as as default because of me. We actually we both won. Um, that's how bad it was because there was two of us. We both got the prizes. They were like, well, I guess you both win. Um, I wore it to that and I think I wore it for some other party at some other point. But yeah, it's, uh, it was so bad. But from that, you learn so much. Every time you use a new product, you use a new process, you learn something and you can make things better each time and you just get better. 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 Um, you do it. I've got I've got several things that have just popped up and stuff. Um, we have uh, a moment of silence and F's, F's in the chat, if you will, for everyone. For the for the, for the sixty nine is now a seventy. But also full pack oh creations for the tier one gifted sub to the great Oscar. I think at least I think it's the great Oscar. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. But everyone's saying F's in the chat because you know F's in the chat. Also uh, the link to full pack creations is right there if you want to go and have a look at full pack creations. So Mike the Wizard, can I cosplay a half naked nerd? Yes, yes, you can. Do you know what? You I'm, do every time. You know what? I'm going to give you... I've seen... For a man that I am not intimate with, I've seen his nipples so many times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not a day out with Mike until you've seen his nipples. Well, I'm looking forward to that. One day, hopefully, I'll meet yeah. him. Uh, if you say I'll get along with him as much, I, I really do hope yeah. so. I really do hope so. He also, will show you um, his dragon. Uh, Alex, thank you so much. He has redeemed Guide the Raid. Uh, Cosfire wanted to redeem before um, I, before I hop in the car before I miss the chance. Fair enough. We have got our guided raid. The raid we are going to Cosfire. That's going to be really awesome. That's going to be fantastic. Mm. Also, <laughs> you're going to love this. Uh, Mikey T, 1994, redeemed. Hydrate. <laughs> he knows. Mike. He knows. I hate you so much. Honestly, honestly. Um, right. Do you have a favorite cosplayer? I have lots and they're all my friends um, or at least people I wish were my friends that I kind of awkwardly like comment on their photos on Instagram I'm like oh, I really like this but I'm too shy to actually be like can we be friends and I think if I ever met them in real life I'd be like please talk to me <laughs> I'm cool Mike the wizard you've probably seen me half naked more than you've seen me dressed no no that's, that's probably accurate actually um, oh, so goodness. I mean, people like some of my favourite cosplayers, people I love. Um, my friend Angie Viper, I love that girl. She's adorable. She lives in California. She makes the most wonderful costumes. She works in costume. She made some of the stuff for the One Division series that's just gone out. No way. Um, yeah. No. Yeah. Seriously. And I was just like screaming about it because oh I'm so because we've got like this mutual love for the X-Men because that was like my favorite thing growing up was I love watching the X-Men cartoons and she loves it as well. Um, and whenever the, the pair of us get together, it's like idiocy squared. Um, yeah, but that, <laughs> the thing is though, that's the best. Like if it wasn't that, then what's the point? You know what I mean? She, she came over a couple of years ago and we think we did three conventions in two weekends. Um, and we just in a whale of a time, um, yeah, we took her to the beach once. It was brilliant. But I love her. I love what she makes. She's just she's an all round like wonderful person. Um, and she is just like me, hot nerd garbage. Um, <laughs> oh my god! Yes, we, hot nerd garbage. She's just she's fantastic. Um, oh there's a picture god. on Instagram of our bums as well. If you want to go do dive for that, Instagram. Harry? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. you can go deep dive for that one. Ha- um, Harry, you have been requested to find the like, hot nerd bums <laughs> on on her Instagram. Um, have fun with that. That's not a dis- that's not a, a bad thing to be going to have to do. Oh, what a shame! I have to go find some. Ass oh shit! Terrible. Um, but, um, so I I love Angie. Um, my friend Helen, who is on Instagram as Helen Alice Sews, just. She could turn bin bags into the most glorious thing you'd ever seen. That, that's how good she is. Just everything she touches is just beautiful. Like 
just everything. Um, and it's really, it's, uh, it's a twee word, but it's really inspirational watching her make things no, and how no. she does stuff. That, I, I, I completely, uh, like, that, that word you can use, because, for example, like, um, to me, my, like, like, uh, well, answering one of my own questions, my favourite cosplayer is uh, Adam Savage, and he, I, find him, oh, I, I, yeah. find, I find him incredibly inspirational. You can't not be a fan yeah. of Adam Savage. C considering like, that he's really still can't. doing, he's still doing this now, and he's still cosplaying, mm. and he's still going, mm. and he's just he's not stopping. I just, I just love him. I just and think he, he's fantastic. He, he, honestly, he really is. My, my dream is to have like a a, a, a one on one with him, where mm. you know I don't have to rush. I, I want to be able to sit down and just for a, for for a good hour, just be like. <laughs> <laughs> just like an hour like oh my god 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 sweating oh, profusely just, and then once i let go of the chair and relax a bit i can be like hi i mean <clears throat> hi uh <laughs> just like, just i love like, things. genuine oh look at that ranger Craig has found the link there i have found some asses I'm not sure if it's the correct asses but we'll um what we'll, we are what a we pair of do? asses do you know we, we can get mikey t 1994 to confirm since he has seen your ass he knows so he can <laughs> confirm whether it's the correct ass so we can, uh, we, can we can do that um yes. in terms of accuracy how important is that to you in cosplay i know you have your own cosplays for example the pikachu libre and stuff like that mm. those are more you've seen designs or you've seen pictures or your own yeah. imagination that kind of thing but in terms of like if you were doing um like your own something real and tangible yeah, something if you were like i'm copying that not copying it but like i want that cosplay yeah. so i'm gonna like like as you said like with goza for example you said yeah you had shot for shot and found everything you needed and then just went for it. Yeah. How, how, so when you do that kind of stuff, how important is that to you in terms of accuracy? I think, I mean, you've got to get it in the ballpark of it. With the goes one, it's it's roughly that. Like, it's yeah, not 100% yeah, yeah. accurate because oh, the, the references are so bad on it. And the thing is, nobody remembers the, like, the minute detail of a lot of these things, unless it's someone else who's made it or done the research. There's a lot of things that you're not really going to notice. Um, and is it the most important thing in the world? I don't think it is, but it, you know, if it makes you happy, just go for it. But I mind. I like to get like some kind of semblance of the realism, like with the Gozer thing. I want to kind of get it as close as I can, but I know I can't because you know what materials were used aren't. You know, we can't really figure out what exactly things were back then. Um, but it's it's close enough for jazz, so I'm fine with it. People know what it is. That's really what you're going to strive for. It's just as long as somebody knows who it is. I'm not going to lie. With the amount of events you've good. done, it'd be hard pressed to find someone who doesn't know, especially the go the goes a set as well. It'd mm. be hard pressed to sort of someone be like, oh, sorry, what is this and who are you? I mean, don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people who haven't seen um Ghostbusters. There's a lot of people yeah. who hasn't who haven't seen Ghostbusters, or those that have or don't like it who are yeah. strange people. Uh, mm. <laughs> joking, but it, it, there are a lot of people I know who haven't actually seen it. And I'm like, would you ever consider watching it? And if you did, would you want to watch it like uh, with, with me? Because not only that, I have, uh, I have it on Blu-ray and stuff. So I have like mm. the one and two on Blu-ray and stuff. Like, why wouldn't I? It's Ghostbusters. I love it. And it's like, do you want to watch it? But obviously the, the hardest part about that is keeping my mouth shut without saying the mm. lines. Like the lines in the Cedric Hotel, you know, the, 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 when, they, when they go find Slimer. It's just like, you yeah. can't not keep... <laughs> you can't not it's, keep it's, like the It's insanely quotable. But it's just... I mean, like that character's in it for, I think it's literally two minutes. And I'm not offended if people don't know what it is. Um, and they'll go, oh, or some people will go, oh, I, I know what it is, but I can't tell you what it is. I can't pinpoint it. And you'll tell them and they'll go, oh, shit, yeah, it is, isn't it? Um, but there's a, there's, that costume itself has a real niche of people that really dig it. And it is all generally men of a certain age. Yeah. You fit in a you fit in a little age bracket. Yeah, and there, there you is. Fucking I, love it. Yeah, it, it is. It is literally that. It is. The because, last the last convention I wore that to the only people who stopped me were literally a group of men who were like, "Oh my god, I love Ghostbusters." Do you, oh do you like Do you like that? Like when you just get stopped by people, you know, like when you're not at the set, if you're walking along just as Gozer, and it. people just go, "Oh my god, it's Gozer." Do you, I love something? the enthusiasm of people because it's not a common costume no, you no. find as well. So when people that's what I was see saying, it and are yeah, excited like, by it, it's a genuine excitement. And that's pretty cool. Um, 
you know, if I'm being bothered when I'm eating stuff, then it, I'm not particularly jazzed about it. But you know, I mean, I that it's you know what's quite funny that I've never had that issue. And I'll tell you why I haven't had that issue is because I normally when I'm in my steampunk stuff, where there's one a huge group of us anyway, and sometimes mm. we get our kit off, you know, our ghost, our, like not ghost, but sorry, our like my piston arm and stuff. I get all that off and whatever to go and eat. So then I'm just in like uh, black trousers, shoes, a belt, and like a shirt mm. and a bowler hat maybe, uh, and I'll be eating and I don't get bothered. Same with the Ghostbuster, like everything comes off, the overalls come off, and I go eat. Um, same mm. with the Arm Warrior. So I haven't had that issue, but what the only issue I have it is like. Um, if something is like like Harry's gonna hate me for this because Harry's gonna be like holy shit. Um, the first time testing out my power fist, you know my big red hand. Mm. The first time testing that out, the the things that were put in it originally to hold it to my arm um, was crushing here, to the Ooh. point where my hand turned blue. I lost feeling. Oh, no. I lost feeling here in this side of my hand for a good oh, three no. or four days after the event. And I was like, I turned to Harry, I'm like, Harry, he was like, what? I was like, not to panic you, which instantly panics people. <laughs> my hand has gone numb. Uh, he was like, oh. And I was like, we need to go back to the green room, uh, which is like from, like, here's a square of where the thing, from here, up and across, over the hall, and then into the green room. Yeah. Being stopped repeatedly for photos with my hand literally falling off. <laughs> not the actual hand, but my fucking human arm. Just Your turning, hand inside, turning dying. blue. It was the agony. It was so painful. I've since then dramatically changed how it goes together and it is now so nice, nice to wear. I can wear it all day and it's perfectly fine. But yeah, I, I, I get what you mean with the whole being stopped and it's awesome, but I've not been bothered while eating. No, I've, I've only eating. had it like a couple of times. Like if I'm wandering around, I've got like a drink and like a snack. <laughs> but I have a pitch and I'm like, oh, like... Got to find somewhere to put it down. Hide it behind your back or put it on the floor. I think only once I've ever said to somebody, I'm really sorry, I'm... Like I'm trying to eat. Yeah, I'm just, dying. Like come and right find now. me later. Yeah, I think only like maybe once I've done that. Which is understandable. Sometimes you have to. Honestly, sometimes you have to. Yeah. Like I've been you, half. I've been, like, half in my suit. I've been like half in my suit. People are taking pictures. I'm like, oh, could you not? I need to get in my suit. But mm. yeah, I've had like the odd person that's like, oh, can I have a picture? And they get a, like full on cut of me, and I have to say, don't touch me. You know. Yeah, fair. But. You know, especially with the goes on because there's a lot of kind of loose bits, it quite can, delicate things. Exactly. It I'm like, yes, awful. like yes, you can have a picture, but please don't touch me because I don't want you to get caught on it. Um, hey, Rangers of Creek shared but, my power fist, and also he shared Mikey, Mikey, Mikey T, 1994. This one, I'm not sure what's happening in the chat. I've been chatting to you. Oh, can we get a link to the pictures with uh, Ray and Bridget? Mikey, 90, Bridget. Mikey T, 1994. Can we uh, can we just get a link to the pictures with Ray and Bridget? Oh, Ranger so Creek, um, Creek, that's the one. I know how much that meant to Amy. Such a proud moment. That's so cool. <laughs> me and Ray Parker Jr. Yeah. It, like he's the nicest guy. He ran after me to ask me for a photo. No way. Yeah, because he'd been trying to find me all weekend. Like every time he'd have a break from his little booth, he'd come over. I'd be out, like I'd be at the loo, or I'd be on a break, or I'd be oh, somewhere else. No way. Every time, and I think we got to the Sunday like halfway through. I went to the loo. And like I was walking back, and like this assistant's like pouting after me, and he's like, "Excuse me, excuse me," like trying to stop me. And like he stopped me, he's like, "Oh, you know, Ray Ray wants a picture." And like he's running behind, <laughs> running up to me, and I'm that's, like, "Yes, you can have a photo." That's of course so you can. wholesome. That is so wholesome. Oh my god, is he? And we like arm in arm, like walked over to the set together, chatting. And I was like, "Mate, Ghostbusters." banger yeah <laughs> In those words right. holy shit oh my god you're hyping and i'm trying to hold right together now. but i, I actually that. i turned around to the guy and i said ghostbusters is a fucking banger <laughs> and he's like thanks it really is it is just like i was really it's, nerding out it's over amazing. It. it's amazing um, um and that same props. weekend diabolical process uh, sounds like i'm worried cosplay wants a ghostbusters and chill with us all <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's basically. Let's oh, just put it on in the background and we'll just talk over it. Good date idea. Ghostbusters and chill? Anyone? <laughs> like, date <laughs> idea. Like, hey, you, Ghostbusters and chill? Hey. Um, but yeah, that's, and then that same event, um, oh, Bridget Nilsson was one of the other um, guests, and she, she went past the stand and kind of, you can kind of draw people into you and get them to come to you. And she came over because I was like, 
come have a picture with her. So she was like, oh, yes. <laughs> and she's like six foot four. Yeah, she's and tall. And she is like a goddess. She's act like she's actually a goddess walking on the earth. Um, and she she like she hopped in and had a picture with me. And we're basically the same size. Like me and my shoes with my hair like up here. And she was just delightful. And she had the softest hands and she smelled so good. This sounds so amazing. I'm I so think I got excited. a kiss from her and I was just like, <laughs> oh my God. I love that. She was I love that. Lovely. I absolutely love that. Holy crap. Um, Holy crap. That yeah, the so same with, I met um, David Bradley, who is Walder Frey in Game of Thrones and the, the old guy in Hot Fuzz and all these other things that he's been in. And um, when I met him, that's not the first time I've met him because I used to work in Stratford upon Avon and that's where he lives. And he used to come into our shop all the time. And so I've, I've met him loads and like had like said hello to him several times. And he came to the stand for a picture and I said, I know I, you won't recognize me, but I used to work in this shop and like you were one of our regular customers and you were really nice to talk to. And he just had a proper genuine chat with me. He's like, Oh yes. I'm really sorry about the store closing. Like I, you know, what are you doing for work now? And stuff like that. And just had a genuine chat with me. And he was so nice. So, so nice. Here he oh, is. Oh my God. I've, I've just been told it is 10 past 10 already. Oh my God. Yeah, we better get through the rest of these Do you know what, there. right, guys? Can I just say to everyone who's been here from the very start, of the stream thank you to everyone who has donated subs whoever has gifted subs whoever's become a subscriber whoever's thrown bits at my face for those of you by the way who don't know i have also just made the chaos scold and uh the wonderful kenneth's cosplay uh vips as well because genuinely you're in insane thank you so much um <laughs> properly from the bottom of my heart thank you so much to everyone um i have a few more questions for you um I, I think I, I think I'll start with this one because uh, I think I'll end with these ones even. Sorry, uh, the the one I really want to know is where did you get your cosplay name from? <laughs> That's what Only I one. One person has got this, okay. um, and it's a passing joke from a film. Um, I really love Nick Frost and Simon Pegg and Edgar Wright's so good. Cornetto films. I so good. love them. The Cornetto trilogy is like the best trilogy. I. I love them so much. Um, but in the third one, in World's End, uh, there's the running joke of someone will say so random and Simon's Peg character will go, we'll call our band that. That's what we'll call our band. We'll name our band that. And um, me and my friend Kat used to do that a lot because we were always like obsessed with the idea of being in a band and having a band. And we had several bands during high school. Um, and one of the... I've got cat hair everywhere. Um, one of the random passing jokes was about um the old guy old basil at the bar who thinks all these weird conspiracy theories one of them being that the bermuda triangle is actually more of a rhombus shape yes <laughs> oh my god and that's god. where it comes from oh my god also i'm not gonna lie bermuda rhombus would be a good band name uh, yeah exactly <laughs> um, band and that. I think when I when I first started doing this, I just wanted something that was very different from my actual name because I like having the disconnect of people that know me in like real life and then people who know me through doing costume stuff. Yeah. There's like that very clear boundary of, you know, this is my personal life and here's my costume um, like escapades. So I like and having it, that, that it's differentiator. Nice to be, it's, it's nice to be a part of both as well. I really appreciate yeah. that. Because like we, we've known each other in and out of obviously... Hmm. cosplay and stuff and that's pretty cool um but i you know i didn't want it to be close to my name i didn't want to put my name in it um because i don't want people because my name my actual name is very distinctive so i'm very very easy to find online so i want to say it was very different so people couldn't find me that's why i've um, only used your first name and not your full name i always use yeah. people's first names during the stream but never their full name yeah um so it's just it just helps um with that and i wanted something that wasn't you know amy cosplays i didn't want something really on the nose obvious yeah, i was saying yeah. kind of it could kind of be anything uh, more like a brand rather than anything else yeah 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 well i mean so, don't get me wrong 
I, I can't, I won't, I, I can't really use my name for anything other than the fact that it's my name. Um, but that's pretty blatant for me. That's pretty yeah. much it. Although I, 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 it, it's kind of hard to explain to people like, yeah, that's my name. That's like, I consider my main cosplay, obviously, but hmm. I do other stuff too. I do other cosplays too. Yeah. I do Ghostbuster, I do steampunk stuff. Like this. I do other stuff too. This just happens to be the main focus. Yeah. Of um, that's it. it like the, the name Bermuda Rhombus doesn't really pigeonhole me into one thing. It's not like I just do fantasy stuff or I just do Pokemon or I do, you know, things from historical movies. You know, it, I can literally be anything and choose anything within that. And it's just a stupid joke. Essentially, it's just a dumb joke that got out of hand, which is basically everything I've ever done in life. I love it. It's You've had such an amazing journey. Like we we have properly talked about from start to start to now, and everything in between. It's great, and I mm. love it. And I am sad, but also happy for you and your bladder to say that there are two questions. <laughs> I'm in so much pain. I need to wee so badly. I'm so sorry. I will do the last two for you. Um, no, it's fine. Do you prefer to cosplay in a group or solo? Um, I kind of get the answer for Goza because obviously that's blatantly a group cosplay, mm. if anything. But um, in general, do you prefer to cosplay with a bunch of other people, all a big group and all, all that cool stuff like that? Or do you prefer like I mean, solo cosplaying? I really want to do more group stuff. I've Other than the Ghostbusters thing, which I don't really think is a group cosplay in a way because, I don't know, everything was quite separate. Yeah, yeah. With it. Um, and like, you know, the whole thing doesn't hinge on everybody being there. I'm not there. doesn't matter. It's Ghostbusters. The Ghostbusters aren't there. It doesn't matter. I'm still there. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I got you. It, it doesn't hinge on us all being a, a cohesive group. It's not like doing the Sailor Moon Scouts. You know, oh, if, that's, like, yeah, that's different. That's if different. half of them are missing, it doesn't really look that good. You know what I mean? Um, I'd love to do more group stuff. Um, this Jolteon was meant to be a group cosplay, um, but slowly everybody kind of dropped out and changed plans, and then everything got cancelled. And I just made it anyway because I really liked it. So, I mean, I'd love to do it again as a whole group but it, it probably won't happen um well, you but never I don't know. Mind. i'm, I'm not that know. bothered um the dark times could end soon and then you could all get back to to doing it that'd be pretty sick i really hope so um pretty awesome. but i'd i'd love to do more group things but i'm not that bothered i i like kind of doing my own thing a lot of the time you know there is um, Pigs on saying uh, Jolteon is seriously inspiring me, which is awesome. Also, Caxon oh, redeemed you. Hydrate, but I'm not going to put you through that. Um, <laughs> oh, no, please. Don't. I'm not going. I'm not going to. My last question to you is: Where know, can we it. find you? Oh, you're putting yourself through it. Don't do that. <laughs> I've got right. orange juice. I love it. My last question to you is: Where can we find you on the world wide webs? Oh. So um, I'm on Instagram and Facebook uh, under I am Bermuda Rhombus. Um, basically it really i mean you can find me if you google the word sexy magic up you'll find me um <laughs> <laughs> that's not even a lie that is not i, used, no, no, I, used, I know it's not because you I told used me to, to be do the that. number one i used to be the number one hit for a couple of months i was the number one hit for sexy magic up <laughs> i'm not anymore um um but yeah if you just look up bermuda rhombus anywhere online you'll probably probably find me at some point um or if you come to any events like um insomnia i've done the last four three insomnia years of insomnia awesome. i need to do more i need to do more um, insomnia. also your links gaming in shows in the chat for your facebook and oh. instagram the cosplay competition at the insomnia events is hands down the best one i believe in the country the, who, the prizes that, are good run by? Uh, it's run by costume and play who are all fantastic people they're like they work so hard and they make such a good event um and their cosplay zone is great and you see so many different kinds of people but the, the level of work that goes into some of the stuff i've seen there it's fantastic the production for the stage is fantastic like the lighting the, the sound the visuals everything is brilliant like it's a really good well put together show um the prizes are fairly good um i think the last few ones they've had a real good sponsors so the prize has been a grand in oh, cash wow. That's... um and then your runner-up prizes are still really good um so like that's that's my favorite event to go to is in summer i'm usually there um in the tabletop zone 
selling Pokemon cards and teaching people how to play it. Um, I've met some really fucking awesome people there. Some really good people that, you know, friends. Now, like, I look forward to hanging out with people when I go to Insomnia and meeting people. And it's just, it's just a good laugh. Um, and I would be doing that now. Like, I would be at the NEC right now. You know, if this were a normal, if this, if were, this a normal were a normal Easter. Yeah, if this were a normal sort of not COVID bullcrap. Yeah. But yeah, I completely so, um, that's, that's That's another place you can find me is usually at that event. Um, obviously, you'll see and me also, because I stick out like a sort of Any event with Ray Parker Jr.? Oh, I just, I love him. I want, just to meet him. I want to meet him so bad. I met Ernie Hudson and I want to meet him as I, I want to meet um, Ray Parker Jr. as well if I can. It was only Ray at that event. Um, I'd like to meet the rest of the guys eventually, but he's just hes just such a nice person. It's just, you can't, you can't write it how nice he is. Well, genuinely, Amy, Bermuda Rhombus, thank you so much for being such really enjoyed this. a wholesome and fantastic guest. Seriously, hands down, such a fun guest to have on. Thank you so much. I can't believe it. We've done, we've done, we've done almost three hours. It is ten past. It really? is now. What is it? It's twenty past ten now. It has been madness. Can I just? Oh God, also yeah, we have say, been chatting for about three hours. Can I just also say thank you to mm. again everyone in chat who has been here <laughs> and. Everyone who's thrown bits, gifted subs, subscribed, changed their sub. Thank you so much to everyone for the hydrates. Apologies to Amy's bladder. <laughs> Do we so much? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, not going to go. I'm not going to go through the whole uh, the whole filling out the form thing again. But all I need you guys to do is jump over to my Discord, and everything is there for you. Remember, April eighth and twenty second, the joy of chaos painting streams will be happening. <laughs> I'm excited for that, and I will see you then. But for now. We are going to go raid Cosfire, uh, currently making Berserker armor, which is going to be absolutely awesome. Oh. Only has uh, currently, let's have a look, only has 18 viewers. There's 18 of us. Let's make it that much better. So okay. thank you, everyone, and a huge thank you to my wonderful guest. We shall see you all again soon. Bye for thank now. Thank you. Bye.